because that makes the ball. That's what their definition of level says, isn't it? Conforming to the uh, curvature of the liquid parts of the earth. Something along those lines. I am going to be queuing up a buster once we know we're, we're live. I've, I've switched you guys off. Um, oh yeah. That mountains underneath the water make the earth, the water bulge up, and huge deep valleys make the water have a dip. Are you sure that's right? One hundred percent, he said that. Because I thought he said it was something to do with the mass being more. So I didn't know whether the mountain underneath the water would bring the water down. That's what people were put the hump them there. On. It's yeah, it was confusing, wasn't it? That's what he said. There's a mountain underneath. They can measure that, and the water is slightly bulging up over that mountain, which doesn't make sense, right? Kadoki. Buster. It's the echo in your brain. You know you can't sustain. The misconceptions in your mind One day you'll see for sure What all of this was for Then you can leave it all behind The journey begins I am the one here that will show the I am the one yet that is searching for the truth I am the whispers of the logic in your mind I am an agent of the Logos In the beginning was found this thing that cannot speak It's how we all truly learn It's only ever attained When one lets go of fear So don't let wisdom pass you by The journey begins I am the one here that will show the I am the one here that is searching for the truth I am the whispers of the logic in your mind I am an agent of the locust all around It wasn't until I left behind the things I believed that I could see things so clear The journey begins Become the one here that will show the Become the one here that is searching for the truth Become the whispers of the logic in their mind Become an agent of the Logos Become an agent of the Logos We are the agents of the Logos guys and
and we are live. My PC is going slow. Welcome. It is a uh, hump day. Uh, proof week. Talking about proofs and uh, today we were due to go into a uh, thing with Brandon that um, B-Ball did. But we have literally just watched one of the most frustrating uh, debate tactic sort of things ever. Where, um, frustratingly, no points seem to be made. There, it, there was a debate, not a debate, a discussion, not even a discussion. Where, like I say, frustratingly, nothing occurred. Nobody learned anything about anything. Well, I learned a few things. But that's where we're at at the minute, I think. Within this uh, arena, we're talking about proofs. And in order to get proofs, you have to have... A, a logical progression that you can follow to get from A to B and to make that conclusion at the end, to make it uh, certain, you have to be taken through a series of steps. And normally discussions and the way we talk to each other, that's the way we do it with through communication. But there is a massive breakdown of that within a certain community. I think we've just hit upon um, uh, a really strange community where uh, proofs have to be denied for for a model. And there's a, a lot of uh, people, I think, a severe case of paralogism is um is it's deep it's deep now paralogisms need to be explained but whether you uh, understand it or not seems to be a, a really difficult thing because in order for you to understand what a paralogism is you have to understand a logical process. But a paralogism is a misunderstanding of the logical process. So it's rather a tricky subject because people who don't understand the logical process and will get offended at at not understanding the logical process, or maybe they think their logical process is the proper logical process. The only way for us to understand um, these steps is to discuss them with each other in a calm way. If that um, discussion doesn't happen in a calm way, then there's no way for anyone to understand which is the correct logical process. Now, one of the... It's hard to tell whether it's... Uh, we were talking earlier. The the truth values behind um, a statement are either known or not known. I don't know how to, how to explain that. Uh, anyone? <laughs> uh, I would say, like, a, a paralogism, like, very specifically, if you're making a paralogistic statement, let's say, it, you could have misunderstood uh, that your conclusion did not actually, in fact, follow from your premise. And, you know, you'd think that it logically does follow. That's one example of what a paralogism could be that you're simply misunderstanding the 
the, what do you call it, logical connection between the premise and the conclusion, where there actually is none, you think there is. Yeah. yeah the, that the, would be one example, anyway. Multiple different ways of these um, paralogisms to occur. And uh, the, it, it's hard to tell whether the person you're talking to is just not understanding what you're saying, whether they're unable to understand what you're saying, or whether they're purposely um, trying to deceive you into saying that they don't understand what you're saying. It's very difficult, and I've been within this arena for quite a while, and this is a pretty new thing for me to think about, but it just causes um, more wonder, right? It, it's much easier to be able to talk to people that understand the logical process uh, and go along with it in a way. Now, if there is another group of people that say that they don't understand it, does that invalidate the logical process that we're going through or does it mean that um, they have a logical process to compete with it? Because that's what I would say. The breakdown that we have at the minute seems to be there's a group of people like us here that are willing to have these uh, discussions about this uh, logical steps that we make and whether they make sense or not. And there's a group of people who seem unable to. And even at the mention of the, the topic, seem to uh, back away and, and cause, I don't know, distress. They have to obfuscate and take it out of that arena, put it in somewhere else. Now... We're at stock. We've been watching a debate that that discussion happened today. And it seems like there was no, there was no formulation to anything. There was no formulation to the discussion. There was no formulation to anything. There was just a scattergunning all over the place of a mishmash of all sorts of different arguments. And we're, today we're going to go over a uh, discussion that we had uh, concerning a test, a, what they call the BEV test, we call it uh, just the straight line, we're calling it realising Euclid, a straight line, shared straight line test. Uh, the debate was on uh, Sean Atwood wasn't a debate it was more of a just a discussion with uh, uh professor dave that he didn't have professor dave at the bottom of it he took it off for it anyway so are we ready to go into it or does anybody want to to have any say about the uh, what you know, we'll bl get rid of all of that other stuff from what we we just watched. Anybody, any comments about it? Otherwise, I'll while well, I'm setting up for the. Uh, I think maybe we should go over it uh, more in detail at, at another time. Yeah, maybe explain what to do and what not to do in those situations that you come across with the lights in the sky argument and obfuscation, maybe some tactics that if somebody wants to do themselves, like a tutorial, maybe. Well, of, I think uh, that's what we should be doing. Going over that is I think we um, there needs to be a discussion about the debates 
and about the debate tactics and you know how how to be better in debates how to keep on track and how to how the tactics of each side work um it would be good to go over it and you know then hopefully in the future if there's any other debates then it'd be worth going over it for just for the sake of the debate and watching how the discussions go because i mean there are different debates on different servers and different things about different things what's this one about which one different styles this one this is like a free for all <laughs> Right, uh, screen. Oh, you you mean like this Discord? What's what kind of discussion is this Discord about? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. I would say like mm, figuring out what's going on, like basically. But we talk a lot about geometry. And of course, geometry is based on logic, so we talk a lot about logic. Break, break things down to its core to, to see what, you know, what is the basis of the argument. Does it actually hold water? You know? Try and find common ground between people. Like, just keep it simple. But you all think about McLoon's Celestial Navigation Challenge. There's no challenge. It's just a uh, like lunacy. Why? Someone explained to me that it was. I mean, I mean, that person could have explained it wrong. So, but he explained to me that it was. You're you're going to be given three angles, and from those three angles, you need to find coordinates on the globe. Like that is the entire challenge. It sounds. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what it is. Well, it is a little. I, I'm no expert at any of this stuff, whether it's geometry, angles, celestial navigation, sextants, any of that. But it, but just reading it as a layperson, it is confusing. So I downloaded the official challenge like file. It's just a notepad, or I mean a text file. Um, but it says, using only mathematics applied, presuming flat Earth, as defined above, and you give some definitions. Use the elevation angles to three separate stars to determine the observer's position on the Earth twice. So there Using are three geometry. elevation angles. Yeah, three there angles. Why do you need... I don't get... Where does the three angles come from? He's, uh, he said stars. he's went outside with his phone and used the Theodolite app to get some angles on his... On his iPhone, I think it was. Or maybe a Samsung or something like that. But yeah, he, he, he got the angles. Yeah, yeah. To lights in the sky. And he wants you to tell him where he is. I'm guessing. Yeah, he that's what it sounds like to me. He doesn't explain tell him where what he is. geometry is. It's like we're, we're supposed to infer... So how can you infer what flat Earth geometry is? Because he can set the definition of whatever that is. Well, it's set. I mean, it's in it's in the document. There's no such it thing says... as flat Earth geometry, though. No, does, right, but geometry exist on top of a planar surface. And didn't he remove that word flat Earth geometry on purpose because of how absurd it was? Because of Bev. It says, that, so the new definition, flat Earth, the idea that the Earth as a whole, excluding topography, is generally a flat plane. This includes these ideas. The Earth is an infinite plane. All horizontals are parallel. The surface of undisturbed water is flat and other ideas that have similar implications. Yeah. That's well, the throughout my, yeah, I was going to say, you know, throughout my education, horizontals were always parallel. All of math was based on the fact that horizontals are parallel. If they weren't, all of math would crash. Yeah, he's not suggesting that if horizontals are parallel, then that's flat Earth, is it? Because I mean, every maths teacher I ever had, I'm with Saragaki. I mean, they were they flat Earthers. 
according to McToon, I would yeah. S- yeah. suggest that's what's going on. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's that's brave of McToon, but I mean, like I say, I, you can still do fuck all with an angle, even if you get three of them. <laughs> yep. It'd be like I can do fuck all with that one. I can do fuck all with that one. And I can do fuck all with that one. So that's three fuck alls. Uh, put them together, make uh, fuck all. Well, so to me, uh, again, maybe I'm reading it wrong, but challenge should be. Oh, I don't understand. What is he wanting us? What is he? Oh, I shouldn't say us. What is he wanting people to prove with using celestial navigation? Like, how would you prove if it's flat or round? You're just using the tool. The tool gives you an angle, and then you can, based on, you know, some other things, you're, you're sh- I guess, showing where you are. I don't know. Do you know um, anybody that has said it proves anything? Because I'd suggest I've, I've, you may be better asking them. They're the people that have, have actually said it proves something. But they'd be um, the best ones to... Uh, maybe the ones that McToon's directed his challenge specifically at. Maybe those are the people, because it's not us. We've just said you can do fuck all with an angle to everyone that's come around here with any sort of a conversation about any uh, angle measuring device. Oh, but there is a claim about the sextant that it can tell you where you are up to an approximate distance, Who? right? Who? Who's claimed that? Like... Anyone who's ever used a sextant, um, mar- mariners, I've captains. used a sextant, right? And it measures an angle. And then I say, you can do fuck all with that angle. Well, you use that angle in in formulas and things to How? then do further further How? analysis. Yeah, if you just take an angle and you put it down and you go eat your sandwich, yeah, you just got an angle. What, what are you going to do with that? But mm-hmm. you can take that angle further. Well, we've talked about this before. You can do you're a formula. You're measuring... You're measuring two things. You're getting an angle. You have multiple points. You can turn that into a triangle, and now uh-huh. you've got now you've got, we got an angle. You've only got an angle. That's what you start off with. You so you're, turn your it into a triangle. That, so your contention is that sections aren't for navigation. No, listen. If you've only got one angle, you cannot make a triangle. A triangle has three, three right, sides. There's an assumed, mm-hmm. there's an assumed right, ninety degree. Where? Angle. Where? It's not when uh, when you measure an angle, one angle. There's no assumed other angles. Unfortunately, uh, you can only measure an angle. That's why we say it says I don't have access to posts and live chat. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we had uh, gratuitous globe earth science <coughs> being shown. People get triggered. <laughs> okay, I don't know what that means. We but... had to lock down. Oh, oh, I don't have access to anything. There is an open text. I don't know, though, but isn't that one open? Where? Yeah, further up the list for picks oh okay okay <laughs> we can't let anybody what sort of a pick have you got is it a ball a circle you can't add me no it's not a ball what have you got a pick of well <laughs> i have to post it here oh i don't have permission are you saying, wait, what are you saying? Ballers came in and they were spamming stuff or something? Yeah. Yeah, Globe Earth Science, the uh, pleasure in themselves. They got overexcited. Got me a uh, Twitch shutdown. Suspended for seven days. Oh, it might be back on yeah. today. On Twitch? Mm. Or what? For uh, gratuitous globe earth science. <laughs> Enjoying themselves, they hilarious. were. Okay. Well, I don't know. I mean, you have you have people saying they've used sextants to navigate and to tell them where they are. Who? Or at least who, who people? Who people? 
um, captains of ships, mariner people, um, usually people on the ocean, right? Because nice. I don't know, that's just where they started. Usually, ships. yeah. McToon says you can do it anywhere. Well, land, you probably can do land it anywhere. sextants. Fantastic. Well, I would imagine you could if yeah. it works. If if, if it the works old GPS the system, horse and cart sextant. Absolutely. Do a speed oh. check as well. I don't think it has anything to do with GPS. Do you think a sextant's a, a, a old school antique GPS system? Antiquated now. I don't think it's anything to do with GPS. Oh. But yet you think you can find out where you are with it? By three angles. That's, a, that's the um, assessment of the tool, I guess. That's like, I see, I'm, I only know geometry and logic, and I know that you can do fuck all with an angle. And you can turn around and do another angle as well, and you can do fuck all with that one, so... If if all you've got is a sextant and an angle measuring device, then you're screwed. There's got to be something else. You can't just get a formula. There's no angle formula to find out where you are. It's ridiculous. It's where we started the thing with paralogisms, right? There's, there's an argument that isn't even an argument. I think you've got an argument that you say that other people say that they can do things. But that's as much well, yeah, as you've I've got. I've never used one. Yeah, but that's like a lot of things. Like people tell me that batteries work. I've never made a battery. Or they tell me how they work. I mean, I know they work because I've used them, but I've, I've never made one. I no, have to believe not. some people sometimes. But you can measure an angle, right? Anyone can measure an angle. You could you could do it with a protractor. Yeah, you can measure an angle. Mm -hmm. And then you can't use that angle to tell you where you are. Because it's a third well, of a you're triangle. Using, I mean. You're using... Well, so again, maybe this goes back to the globe model. I think they're also using the uh, the second. Well, there's there's the observer. That's one. There's there's the if you're doing celestial, that's star. That's two, and then horizon. That's three. That's that's a triangle. No, no, no. You you know, have you ever done mathematics? Have you ever done trigonometry? I mean, way back in the day. Okay. Yeah, like do you know what you need in order ago. to do trigonometry? The the fewest constituents. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Right. Step one, trigonometry. Trig. The tri bit at the beginning. You need a triangle. And mm. what's more, you need a right angle triangle in order to be able to do trigonometry. Mm. To use sine, cosine and tangent function. With the hypotenuse, right? That's that's in order to do trigonometry. You need a right angle triangle, and you need one side, at least one side, and one of the other angles. But if you know one angle and a right angle, then you also know the other angle. So you know all of the angles and one side at least. Uh, but you, with the sextant, you've just got an angle. That's not even enough to contemplate starting trigonometry. Uh, I don't know. I think you're. Um, I just think you're wrong. You keep saying you keep repeating the same thing, but you're not taking any any of the new information in. That what new you. information? What was the new information that you gave us? connect lines between those three points you have a triangle what, three points you've got an angle so that's the, three points and yeah. if i could post if i three could post points. In your 
chat. Okay. I'd send you a picture. I've already done this before. I've sent. I've already paste, pasted many pictures. Yeah, three. Oh. This Discord froze. Uh, now, everybody, are you still there? It appears Discord has shut down. Um, Discord shut down, people, don't worry. It should be back very soon. <laughs> um, yeah, he was talking about uh, angles and how they can't make triangles. Uh, you guys are still there, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know what this <laughs> world's just done. Are you guys back? Yeah, we're here. All right. Discord just shut down and updated for me. There we go. All right, back again. Sorry about that. I uh, had to just drop. We're back. You were telling us about uh, your angle. Is Chris still there? He seems to be on mute. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I just. Yeah, Discord just shut down. Sorry about that. Did you understand what uh, Sarah Gookie was saying? Sarah Gookie. Um, maybe I wasn't listening or I didn't hear him. Yeah, so he was saying that you can get an angle with a sextant to a star and to a point on the horizon, but you have no idea what the length of each, either of those arms are. You don't know how far you are to that star. You don't know how far it is to the point that you're positioning uh, at the horizon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think, I think, well, I think they say you can, but I haven't fact checked it or I don't, I haven't used it, like I said, so I'm not, I can't be certain. Yeah, well, that, I mean, that's, that's why I say how, that's why Beth asked you how in the beginning, right? So how, if you have an angle, you can do, we say you can do fuck all with an angle. And you say, well, you've got two arms. I got two points. Yeah, you could say, yeah, I see a light in the sky, so I've got a point there, and I can see a point on the horizon. i got a point there. But that's not going to give you a triangle. It's still an angle to two points, which you can do fuck all with. So, so let me ask this way. Where ship captains not using sextants to help with navigation back in the 17 and 1800s prior to things like GPS? Absolutely. Navigation, right? Finding out where you are, yep. No, you already know where you are. You're really do you're doing really bad if you don't know where you are. Uh, navigation you, is knowing where you're going. Right. They didn't know where they were going. That's why they. That's why someone invented the sextant and they began using it. Why else would they have invented the sextant in the first place? Uh, to aid in getting places. Right, because they didn't know how to get there and or where they were going. Right. Yeah, where they're going, not where. The the challenges that you keep talking about and everybody keeps talking about is using this angle measuring device to know where you are it's ridiculous that's so why it's, 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 it's a non-argument so you're saying captains in the 17 1800s weren't using seconds to help them find out where they were and or where they were going where they're going they they use the sex to, to going, aid them you where to they're where going. But don't you have to know where you are to know where you're going? 
Yeah, do, do you not know where you are? If you get lost, you don't? No. That's why you have navigators, isn't it? Good ones. Experienced ones. How are they doing it? <laughs> the ones that are not getting lost. How are they doing it? They're not getting lost. They know where they're going. They're experienced in what they're doing. They know where they're going from and they know the directions to head in order to get to where they want to go to. Okay, it sounds like you're just making that up, but... Sounds like I'm just making it up. Yeah. Where, do you not what, do you not think that? that they use sextants in order to find everybody. where they were going? Oh, you just said these people were doing it themselves, like they weren't using any instruments. Where was that guy who was claiming to discover America? Wasn't he heading for like India? Was he using a sextant? No, oh, and he completely missed it, right? Like, yeah. So they didn't know where they were going. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere he had a sextant with him, but it was really problematic to actually use it on the that. ocean. No, the sextant wasn't until 17-something, and that was, what, 1492-ish, right? Whatever. Well, yeah, maybe. History. Remembering the wrong person. Oh, have you got a history. Have you done the history of the sexton? Well, they know when they were made. Oh. And then you're saying that before then, they didn't use the lights in the sky to aid them with navigation. Is that the sextant's job alone, or were um, they using the lights in the sky to aid with navigation before then, before the sextant? Oh, I'm sure they were. But that gentleman specifically said that they were using a primitive sextant or whatever he said, and I'm just clarifying that that was probably not the case since the sextant wasn't invented until 1757. So before then, they could have just used the lights in the sky with no angles in order for them to find where they're going. Just, just using the lights in order to know which way they're going. Do you reckon? Um, that again? Do you reckon that they, before they use the sextant, they just use the lights without an angle? Like, because the sextant just gives you the ability to use the light in relation to an angle. Before the I, sextant, I'm... just the light, right? Yeah, I'm sure they were using it, but apparently it wasn't it wasn't perfect, right? Because of, of obvious examples like Columbus and others, I'm sure. That if they if they were using just the lights in the sky and they knew exactly where where they were going, what they were doing, he wouldn't have quote unquote sailed to America. He would have hit India or wherever he was trying to go, right? Like there were some issues with that method. Again, they wouldn't have created the section if they didn't need it. So just use they go step up from just using the lights to measuring an angle. Now, can you imagine any sort of geometrical way that you can uh, use an angle to aid you in knowing uh, where you're going or where you are? I'm guessing not where you are, right? You you can't. There's no there's no point you using angles to tell you where you are is that <laughs> i don't know they say they are people who've used it again captains and mariner people um have said since 1757 since it was invented that the section has helped them navigate that's nice so um, unless you're saying that everyone who's used a sex and is lying or wrong, I mean, are I you, you can say that. Is that your argument, though, that you're coming in here? I'm saying, well, I don't know how you do it with an angle. And you're coming in and saying, well, 
you so other people have told you is it or have have people told you that they know how to do it that they've done it other other people that i've found i've said they've done it yes the people you've found yeah like online like youtube and wherever have you actually talked to anyone that says they've done this like real people one to one um i'm talking with someone right now actually about it but he's it's hard to it's hard to communicate because his primary language is turkish and we're having to like do a bunch of translating but this person as he's a captain who's used a sexton before well is there nobody in this community that you've met, met? like mctoons has got a challenge <laughs> Uh, I've heard a lot of people say that they can do sextant stuff. I mean, I, loads of people have bought sextants. Right. Yeah. I think uh, Bob. I... Uh, who else bought one? Uh, Sean Hawkins. There's a guy. He'll walk you through how to use a sextant. He's the ideal guy. He's got a Polaris argument. I stand with Sean. Uh, I don't right, know who well, else. I, There's I, I loads just, of people. I, I mean, McToon's going to uh, show everybody how it's done because he's got that challenge, hasn't he? He's got to be able to do it himself. Although well, I think not, I, that's not the challenge. What isn't? Three angles. The challenge. No, the challenge isn't him showing how it works according to them. It's it's how does it work according to a flat Earth? Oh right. Oh well, I wouldn't have a clue. I mean, it was you? Like I say, I, I just well, know in reality that you can do fuck all with an angle. So I wouldn't have a clue about how you presume that it works anyway. But what I what I would do and what I've been trying to do is Googling things like how do sex work? And then I would watch those videos and the people explaining them and then come to the conclusion on if you think it would work that way or not. Because I'm telling you, when you're just saying, oh, you just get an angle and you go eat your, your turkey sandwich... That's not what they say. You get an angle, you've got three points, um, you've got uh, other things that they're accounting for and calculations and for, there's formulas and, and all sorts of stuff that go along with this. So wow, yeah, if you just fancy. get an angle and walk away from it and you're not gonna be able to use this accent. But if you do the things that they say you can or should be doing, then it works. Formula, sextant, angle formula. Have you got it? Have you? Has anyone shown you that? Do you have the? Well, yeah, uh, I thought you can see it on YouTube. See it on YouTube. If they're not, if you um, has the flat Earth got a angle position calculator done yet? I I highly doubt it. Oh. Is that why but nobody's actually argument... done the thing? Well, so, so far, and you correct me if I'm wrong, so far your argument is, I don't know how it works. My argument. it doesn't. Yeah, your argument is, I don't know how it can work. You only get an I angle, therefore it doesn't I haven't work. made an argument. I made a statement. You can do fuck all with an angle. Uh, you've exactly. brought the argument in, have you? Did you but have an argument that you wanted to share with us? You're claiming your, your evidence, I guess, if you call it that, is, I don't know how it works, therefore it doesn't. No, I, geometrically, um, when you have one angle, I'm saying you can do fuck all with that. Now, if you have a formula that you want to share with us or some wise words from a shadow giant somewhere that you might have wrote down in a book, uh, you can bring that at any point you want. But at the moment, you've just got an angle and... Uh, that's fuck all. It's not even a triangle, right? It's just an angle. And it's a very weak argument, I think, that you are coming in with. I mean, what is your argument? That somebody else has told you that you can do something that you don't know how to do personally. Because that does seem pretty weak. I, I'm i just asking questions. I, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I asked what everyone thought about the McLoon challenge. And then 
And then apparently the consensus is, well, you can't really do anything with the sextant anyway, so what's the point? You can measure an angle with a sextant. So it's an angle right. measuring device. And that's where you say it, it, that it ends. Well, that, but what else can you do? You give you give us you give us your idea of of what else happens. How about how about this? Let me try it this way. We we take you, Chris. Take you in the middle of the night, blindfold you. Take you on a helicopter. Don't know you don't know where you're going. You're blindfolded. You have no clue at all. We place you in a dinghy in water somewhere and give you a sextant tell me where you are go well i don't know how to do it but that doesn't mean it doesn't work that's the dumbest argument i've ever heard <laughs> what your argument that you just stated then was the dumbest argument you've ever heard no it's like um <coughs> um Oh, I, here's all the components for building a, you know, I don't know, camera. Go do it. Then you come back and say, well, I don't know how to do that. And I say, oh, see, the, then the camera doesn't really exist because you can't put it together. Oh. It's slightly different, right? Because you've been given the sextant, the angle measuring device. Um, do you need anything else? Yeah, sure. Like, there's like I told you, there's like a lot of math involved. Uh -huh. um, like, it's I don't think it's easy. I think I think people on both sides are, are are making it sound like it's just easy. Like this, what this guy just said, like, oh, just take your sex and, and drop you off somewhere, and, and then that like that's all you need. I really think it's not that simple. I think it's actually pretty complicated. And a lot of the videos I've watched, there's a lot of um, complex math involved in figuring this stuff out. Like they used to have, you know. Well, now they have charts and tables, but they used to have to figure that all out themselves. But if you use these supposed charts and tables, it helps simplify it. But it's there's still a lot to it. There's dip angles, corrections. There's um, latitude, longitude stuff. There's all sorts of stuff that you may may use or may have to use. So it's, it's not just angles it's not just and taking corrections an angle. to angles. Isn't latitude and longitude an angle? And it, you said dip. Well, correction angles so that's another angle so you've got angles uh, with corrections to angles but still you've just got angles i mean you could have a thousand angles that's like that's like saying you only have you have three angles what can you do with those three angles yeah, well, you can what? form a triangle, and you can then do Pythagor Pythagorean theorem. Uh, right? Like, there's things you can do with angles. Like, why are you making right. selling angles nothing? Wow. You got three angles from the same point, though. What? <laughs> yes. If you've got a sextant and you are stood in one position, where are your angles that you are measuring? Where are, Where do they come from? Where are the three angles that you've just generated? Where did they arrive from? Did you measure all three of them with your sextant? You only need to measure one. Okay, so you've got one angle then. Where did the other two angles come from? The yeah, other is a right triangle, so now you have two, and based on what we know, you can get the third angle if you have the two angles. Right, so two angles. how do you get the right angle with because the sextant? You're, you're, because you're, if you're using a, um, for example, bubble level that's horizontal, that's 90 degree. You hold that bubble level very steady on the ocean? Uh, you can, or there's other tools, um, other ways of doing it. So where's the, where's that angle then? Well, if I could post in your one of your in in, in one of your that's traffic. at the bottom of where you've got your other angle. Huh? 
did mention dip angle too. That's a little bit different. Oh, it's just one of the oh. one of the arms of your angle you're gonna put on a horizontal. So you've still got an angle, but you've just got one of the arms horizontally. Still got an angle. And you still don't know the length of either arm. And, and my question, I mean, you know, you can go all day about this, but my question is, did they take the angle measurements to the apparent positions in the sky first, or did they make the charts first? You might want to ask yourself that. Hey, Bev. Hey. -o. I think it's strange that you've come in with this, Chris. I mean, are, are you after McToons's 10K? Hell yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. we, we don't do the sextant thing, but I'd say take it into account. But there are other places that, you know, do advocate for the... It's one of the best proofs that they've got, I think. Well, all, all I'm thinking is if the sextant works then it works on a flat earth or a level earth or whatever you dub it right whatever i get it i get it the model blah 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 i get it but if whatever the shape is if it's level if it's horizontal and the sextant works then it works on that surface you can no well you can measure an angle anywhere right have you have you ever seen a protractor yeah where does a protractor work? Anywhere. Okay. Well, it's a protractor is an angle measuring device and a sextant is an angle measuring device. Seem, yeah. you, seem to, you seem to be conflating the fact that a sextant can can give you an angle to navigation. And you said yourself, there's a lot more that goes into it. So a sextant can't, well, can't do that for you. It can't, it can't, it doesn't calculate something and tell you, Oh, you're right here. This is where you are. No, it gives you an angle. And none of us have contradicted that. We all agree. A sextant <laughs> will give you an angle. Giving you a position on a horizontal plane. And then they're plotting it down on whatever surface they want to put under it by calculating. Right. So let me ask it this way. Why are they getting the angle? Because they're measuring Why do they it? even care? Why would they even do that if they can't use the angle for anything? For Doesn't navigation. even make sense. You just said it's just an angle. Yeah why even get the angle then well you they used to before they had angles they used to just use the lights in the sky right so perhaps right, then they started getting perhaps angles. it's a magic trick sleight of hand <laughs> okay i mean if that's what you believe in that that's fair wouldn't the experienced navigator just uh be very knowledgeable of the position of the lights in the sky and where they need to be during his trip for him, to, for him to end up where they need to be? Uh, just just a question. Well, for long distance, I'll tell you, even like 20 or 40 miles going straight out, like if you head due south and you lose your compass bearing, like your compass breaks, let's say, and there's no sun, like it's cloudy and you can't get a good you know, a storm comes and you can't get a good sun angle, then, you know, tough. You can get turned around really easily. So I will say having angle measurements and having, you know, these these positions that you can put yourself at and I need to head in that direction is helpful. But all they've done is plotted onto a chart 
after they made the charts very, very accurately. <laughs> these places are charted out. Reefs are charted. Land masses are charted right. in these sections and then plotted angles down onto that onto that chart and come up with a, a formula to do so. But they're not plotting it down onto a – well, they're not measuring down to a curved surface. They're measuring down to a horizontal line that you create with the sextant. It's the first thing you do. How, how – if you're six foot above the water, then – that's your horizontal plane. And they're calling the dip an angle measurement to the, the horizon. It's <laughs> rather strange. I'm just trying to grasp how they would have done it. Not having any uh, modern equipment. Or if they may have had modern equipment back then, who the hell knows? So all they did was study where they were at, where they were going, charted it, detailed it. Multiple people did that. All the all they were hired by the by the queens and kings and governments of the day to go do that. Go out into this region and chart this area. And oh by the way, while you're doing it, look up at time and note the time and date and draw out the star patterns above you too. Correct. So they probably did short trips to start with and then just increased their distance based of on course. The they had right yeah well some people you you hear are these stories that just had this sixth sense of where they were and which way they were going i mean i was really good at that when i was younger you know hunting and fishing just going off into the woods and knowing which way you know if we go here we can go back this way or whatever some people are better at it than others but i can tell you the normal person out on the open ocean don't have a clue i ask all my guests every time which way is home they never get it right so I was going to ask you, you spend quite a bit of time on the water, do you not? Yeah, every weekend. Okay. And and like I said, the normal everyday person that's not paying us, that's not paying attention, never gets it right. That's a hundred percent accurate. You're saying that they're always wrong about the direction back home. Yeah, the normal everyday person that I take out that's not paying attention to, you know, where the, where they're which way they're heading out with the sun coming up and which way they need to head in if the sun is past noon or whatever, what what the time of day is and which way we're heading. It's easy. We're just going north and south. I mean, we're basically heading due south out fishing and then due north back to the, you know, the land basically that you can, once you get close to the land, there's water towers and landmarks that you can go by. Right. Cool. Thanks. That's all you really need to know is that north and south, right, for the declination. In a sense, if you already know where you kind of are, if you're just going out to sea, you know, from one point. So you're going down south, though, because you're in south of the U.S., so you're not going west at all. So. so if you, for instance, if you, like, something happened to your boat and you got dragged out, though, uh, you'd, you'd probably use the declination a little bit more. Maybe. To, if you were using charts. Oh, charts. You're bringing charts into it now as well. Yeah, I'm bringing ah, that's something I see. Got charts now too. It's different. But you'd have to, still, you'd have to know where you are in order to know where you're going, right? Yeah, well, yeah, because you're chart. south of it. Yeah. Yeah, with, you know the area. So you could, because you never know if it's south or north, which well, way you're going. Within uh, this context of the uh, McToonery that's going on, um, I'm guessing he'll say uh, that's a globe chart. That uh, flat chart is a globe, the representation of the globe. Right, so yeah. you won't you won't be able to use that. You've just got yeah. uh, you've just got an angle measuring device. I wonder if you could use the latitude, uh, like the s navigation for the. I guess they use the latitudes for that. Right. Well, um, that's an angle to uh, Polaris. Yeah, the, the declination from yeah. one point in the sky to another on uh, ninety degrees, basically. So you're just using ninety degrees. Yeah. Well, to, to, 
He might say one. that that is a, a globe thing, though, right? McToonery? Yeah, yeah, of Who course. Knows? He can say whatever he wants to. <laughs> Latitude. Ooh, that's on a globe. Sorry, you can't use that. And it's like, but it's an angle to a light in the sky. Yeah, but globe. Sorry. Yeah, I guess there could be a couple of them you could use. But yeah, but then you'd have to to look at the minutes too, I think. Yeah, then it gets all it's up for interpretation, I guess. So that's why you don't even want to do this challenge. I was I was telling Yeah. Chris, I guess. It's just you have to infer what he means by everything. You have to then uh, have it approved somehow by him. And that's just not going to work. You'd be much usually. better off right going for the dave weiss three bitcoin because at least then you'd realize that there is no globe proofs that you could present anybody you'd find out what a proof is rather than trying to do a ridiculous thing uh, devising some way to use an angle as a gps system which is ridiculous What's dave weiss's What's Dave Weiss's challenge? He he just requires a globe proof, proof of the globe model. That's so objective, right? Like, because the Globers will tell you they've got a million things. Like, now the Globers say they don't have any proofs. None. They've had to because of the conversations that we've had within this uh, arena. Then. They've ha been forced to get rid of the word proof. Science doesn't prove anything. You must have heard that. Some of them say that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And obviously, if there are some other Globers that go against what some of the Globers say, then that's blasphemous. They could be <laughs> thrown out of Globe Club. So, I mean, we, we're in the process of finding out at the minute whether they do actually have proofs or not. Because there are obviously proofs in reality, right? We we have proofs. So whether they've decided they nobody's allowed to have any proofs or proofs of um, abstract or something. I mean, who knows? We, we don't know how far it's had to go at the minute whether proofs are allowed anymore or not. That's the place we're at. It's a really weird place to be at. People issuing challenges and saying that this is the, uh, you know, this is a proof of something, but then not real. I mean, in that, conversation that we heard today professor dave of professor dave explains the youtube channel said that he'd proved the globe simply by looking at the lights in the sky pretty i'm much, thinking pretty, yeah pretty much what mctoon wants you to do so i would suspect that uh, since Dave can look at the lights in the sky and prove the globe, if you were to ever hand anything to McToon, he would say, thank you very much. Looking at the lights in the sky and measuring angles is proof of a globe. Thank you very much. You don't think he'd ever hand over any money, do you? Because, I mean, he obviously knows that you can do fuck all with an angle. And that's what he's doing. He's saying, basically, there you go. With a sextant, here's your angles. Just off you go. Tell me where you are. Tell me where I am. And nobody can do that because it's an impossible thing because... You can do fuck all with an angle.
So McToons has got people um, looking for something that can they think can be done, which obviously can't be done because geometrically you've only got one angle. This isn't a debunk of the globe, Sam. This is a debunk of an argument. <clears throat> an angle measuring device is just an angle measuring device. I don't get what why people think it's something that it isn't. So far, the best argument I've ever heard for the uh, sextant is, well, so you're saying that people can't do it? I'm saying, yeah, he, if you've got an angle, you can do fuck all with it. It's just one angle. I bet it's not even in data. Right? A Euclid. There's, it, it is a definition. But that's about as far as it goes when you define an angle, the inclination of one straight line to another. Doesn't give you anything well, else. The guy that brought this up, when I asked him if he can do it, we can put you in the middle of the ocean and blindfolded. The same thing we asked Chris. His response was, isn't that how they do it? Yeah. Like, really? You brought this stuff out and you're asking me, isn't that how they do it? Shouldn't you know how to do it? No, like I said, do you know how you know how to do everything that someone else came up with? That you yeah, but use Chris, in your daily life? Chris, he brought this up. He's the angle man. He's the sexton man, and he doesn't know fuck all about it. Who are you talking about? Ask ten. Next time you go on, they. Oh. The question that I asked you, Chris, tell him tenth man. If we place you in a boat. In the middle of the ocean, blindfolded, would you be able to find your way home? And watch what he says, Chris. Well, what he'll probably say is, I am just telling you how sextants, sextants work. And that they work. Okay, on tell me. Okay, Chris, then tell him. Okay, then tell me. How do they work? Please. On a flat surface. <laughs> That's how they work? That's the answer on a flat surface? That's I what want they've to... been saying. Yeah, but the explanation. Okay, you got an angle now, 10th, right? What do you do now? What's the next step, 10th? Ask him that. Why See what it tells you, bro. Google Earth. Why don't you ask him? It's not, because like, it's not an argument. You've got an an angle. Like, where's where's the rest of the argument? What is the argument, Chris? Well, I'm just no. As he's asking me to ask him, I why can't he? You can go on the show Wait, and ask no, him. What's your argument? I don't have an argument. I know. Well, why have you come in with it then? What, what was your was What just, was the point of you coming in? I'm just asking questions. Yeah, Chris, I already asked him. By the way. I already asked him that question. But since you're the one here, you right? Say? He said, isn't that how they do it? Yeah, pretty much like you did. What do you mean, isn't that how they do it? Like you That's said, what Chris, what was your re reply before? When you said... Isn't that how they did it? So that's what you mean. You're going against all of those people that did it. Remember that reply that you made? That yeah, seems to be that's... the standard response. Well, it's the standard response for a lot of stuff that people, not everyone knows how everything in the world works. Mm -hmm. It's a really bad right. argument though, isn't it? Is well, it's that is literally your argument. No, your argument. You don't know you it. Know, you know you how... just say other people do know it. Well, That's your argument fucking ridiculous. is ridiculous. I don't know what you can do with an angle. No, nothing. no. My my statement is you can do 
fuck all with an angle. Now, you can't tell us what you can do with it. You just say other people can. That's your argument. No, I'm, Yours. I'm saying... Well, no, that's, well, first of all, it's not an argument. It's just a statement. Second of all, I'm sa- what I'm saying is they're saying they can take the angle and apply it to a formula or, or to mathematics or whatever and come up with their um, navigation. So you're taking you're taking that on faith. I right, am. Yeah. I am. Okay, fine. Okay, that's faith. Right. Okay. Fair fine. enough. You're taking how your engine works on faith. You're taking how the light bulb works on faith. You're taking how airplanes work on faith. Right. Like, no, you know wrong. No, wrong, work. Chris. Because when I start my car, it goes forward, and I can see that it works. Uh huh. But the sexton, I was so never lost. Get- Go ahead. You can go on YouTube and see how they work. On YouTube? Yeah. You can I can go, go on YouTube and see how my engine works then. Right? Sure, exactly. exactly. So you can go to a, 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 a ship's captain in person and ask them to show you how it works, and they could probably do that. I can show you how to measure an angle with a sextant. I'm just saying, you can do fuck all with it. No, you, because you don't know what to do with the angle doesn't mean other people don't know. No, 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 you're missing it. If you have an angle, that's all you've got. You cannot do or extrapolate anything from an angle. You don't know the lengths of either of the arms of the angle. You cannot do anything with it. Maybe you do, though. (laughs) <laughs> no, <laughs> there's no maybe. Sure. There's no if, and so but if you have an angle, that's all you've got. You cannot do paralogism? anything with it, right? Is this paralogism now that we're dealing with? Yeah. Yes, this is paralogism, one hundred percent. It's a smart angle. <laughs> you can't even heard the claim that it's a special it's a distance in the GPS location. You know the distance between you and the object, you know the distance. Yeah, but if you're using a light in the sky and the horizon, then you have absolutely no clue about the distance to either or. Well, but, right, I agree with you, but the globe model would say they do know the distance to the horizon, and if there's a calculable formula... But they will also tell you that it's an apparent horizon, that it changes by conditions, right? So, no, I would say that's bullshit. They don't even know themselves. Well, that might be the case, but that's that doesn't mean they aren't using it or, or aren't applying the mathematics for it. Mathematics, yeah, you can do a lot with numbers that you just put together in a formula, of course, but you can do fuck all with an angle. That's enough of a silence. I think it, that's got a point across, hopefully. No, I'm just bored, to be honest. It's one of the worst arguments I've ever heard, Chris. You've got nothing. But you don't know anything about it. Like, you've not, apparently, you've not really done any research other than saying you can get an angle and you stop there. Well, you tell us what is. You're like, you've done the research, have you? A, a little bit, yeah. Well, go on then. It's, it's Once you've got the me. angle, what's the next step? Step one, gain an angle with the sextant. We've done that. Step two, what do we do? I'm still looking into that. Oh. Still trying to fully understand it. Because uh, because I don't understand it doesn't mean it's not real. Because well, you you're don't arguing understand for it, it doesn't mean it's not real. Chris, you're arguing for it, dude. That's our whole point. You don't know, but you're arguing for it. No, I'm just asking. I'm asking what you all think about it. It's really, really it. No, no. As see, I'm saying there's there's many, many people on YouTube, on Discord, on internet saying that 
you can use a sextant, you can get an angle, and you can take that angle and do other things with it to get your location or, na or to navigate or whatever. And if Bev's saying that that's not true... I say they owe me a million dollars. That. That's not true he's either. Saying, he's saying you can't do fuck all with just the angle. That's what he's saying. Yeah. Right, and I'm saying you don't only have the one angle. You have many things. Right, and we're asking you, what are those things, and why are you so confident that they work? Well, I believe that you have at least the three angles, because you've got the observer, the horizon, potentially, and this and the celestial object. That's three points. If you could, if you connect lines to those three points, you have a triangle. Your horizon angle is, is horizontal, so that's 90 degrees. Plus your other angle is two, and then you can get your third... The horizon the angles 90 degrees. What are you talking about? Yeah, if you use a bubble level. What? Are you are you sure you understand geometry in the slightest? Well, <laughs> I said I'm not I'm definitely not an, a, an expert and be very knowledgeable. Yeah. But um I don't know why, like, if every, nearly every photo I find of, of, you know, these little graphics of um, using a sextant, they all have, right, 90 degree triangles in them. I mean, I, I don't know, like, are they doing that? Are they trying to fool us all? Or are, are... A sextant doesn't measure 90 degree triangles. It just measures an angle. Right. And you, and you have a right triangle. At no, the, no, no, at you horizontal. just have a angle, one angle. You have a right triangle at your horizontal. That's two. no, you don't. Well, that's what it shows in the pictures. You can, well, you can imagine that, right? A, a, an imagined triangle when you've just got an angle. And then the, I, I'm guessing. The rest of your uh, mathematics and formulations and all of that are using this imagined triangle that you don't have within the formulation, right? I'm just thinking, you know, like if if we're trying to work out how you've uh, imagining this uh, thing to work, right? The sextant that only measures um, an angle. You you think it comes with an entire right angle triangle somewhere attached to it. Then we use some sort of a formula that's based around the trigonometry of the imagined triangle uh, to w let you know where you are, right? I mean, it makes sense. to no one but Do I, I mean, keep getting disconnected or is he just like not talking <laughs> i think he's i, I think chris is trolling us at the minute no what am i supposed to say you keep saying the same thing you say you can't do an angle yeah yet i'm telling you people who use these devices are taking the angle and taking it further but you want to deny that and you want to sit there you know that's it you get an angle and then you and then you leave like okay leave that if you want to other other people, captains, like legitimate people who have no reason to lie to you, are saying you can take the angle and you can apply. They're not, they're not said it to me. To whoever, I, I would have asked them how it would have been done. I mean, if I would have done that, I would have asked the person. How have it would you have been researched done. how? Have you researched a sextant and using it for celestial or other navigation and what they do after they get the angle? Um, well, I know that you can have an angle, and I've been asking quite a lot of people uh, what occurs. And guess what? Well, no, I'm asking if you Nobody research knows. what occurs. Well, I'm Nobody trying knows. to ask. I ask people. That's how I do my research. Oh, so you ask a bunch of people who don't know, and therefore it's just that's it. Nobody knows. What are you doing then? You've asked don't know. What have you done? I've told you. I've looked at. Um, YouTube videos and people explaining how they work. Okay, so I'm asking you, uh, what did they say? Because, I mean, that's where I'm doing video. my research right now. I don't know enough about it to explain oh. to you. That's 
that's kind of dumb. You want someone who doesn't know much about it to explain it to you. When you could go to those same sources who know about it and could explain it way better. Well, you said you have been to those sources to have a go at it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. You just said that you go and watch YouTube videos. What makes you think those people are fucking right? But he doesn't know what they do because he, he can't tell us what they, they said when he said he went to go and watch the YouTube videos that he obviously no, hasn't what? been to go and watch. I mean, that's, it's a really bad attempt at trolling. It doesn't make any sense. You're just though. wasting time, have ever, I think. Have you ever watched a video or something and then not fully understood it? Like, really? You understand everything that you're told or you see 100% all the time. You understand it and you can explain it back as if you're an expert at it. Is that what you're telling me? Chris, let me okay. tell you what I did. I did the same thing like you. I went online and watched those videos, right? And you know what conclusion I came up after I watched those videos? There's no fucking way in hell that anybody can navigate using that system today. Are, are you under the uh, the impression that every captain knows how to navigate using a sextant, Chris? No, no of course not every captain knows that. You know, it's a lost art, right? Uh, I wouldn't say lost. I mean, there are people that, that do know how to, to do it today and have done it. Very, very few people today know how to navigate using a sextant. Very, very few, if any. I'm telling you. Look into it. I mean, I, I thought I'm telling you I have. And what I'm, what I'm interested to know, though, is Bev is stopping, right? He's, I don't think he's gotten to the point of Okay, they say they get the angle and that they're doing this. I want to hear Bev say, I understand what they say they're doing with the angle, but now I don't think that it, I still don't think that it's right or that it would work. That's, we haven't even gotten to that point. We're getting, you're like in the first step of a five step process and you're stopping after the first step. And I don't know why he's doing that. Because, that's dude, you haven't you haven't given us steps two through five. When you do, come back and tell us. You're right, here. Sorry, you brought it up, dude. You brought it up, man. How is that your responsibility? Not, I, because it's your own research. Do your own research. As you Chris, and if you Chris. get to that conclusion, that's good. But to say that you're getting an angle and you can't do anything with that, that's just false. You can do a lot of You came things. here with this argument. If you can't tell us what you think steps two through N are – then do the research. Come back to us. We'll we'll have a whole show about it. We'll talk. We'll have Chris come on and tell us exactly how it's done. We'll take a look at it. His research is the same as Bev's. Bev says that he asks people and listens to what they have to say. You watch YouTube videos and listen okay, so, to what they have to say. So I want to know then, Bev, who did you ask <laughs> that was has either used or known how to use sextants? And told you what they do with the angles, and then you still disagree. What did they say about it? Chris, Chris, could I answer your previous question first, or are you do you not want the answer anymore? What's the previous question? Why stop after you've gotten an angle? Why not proceed? Go ahead. Just the reason I gave you earlier, right? You do not know the length of either of the two arms forming the angle that you got with your sextant. That is the reason, because you can do fuck all with an angle. That is the actual simple answer. Okay, thank you. So now, Bev, who did you talk to that clearly explained how a sextant works and what they do with that angle that you still disagree with? Oh, is he he's not there anymore? I'm back. Go on, wait, sorry. Yeah, Did you want us something? Yeah, I want something. Okay. Go on. You said you've talked to all these people about sexton. So my question is, who have you talked to that knows about them very well and knows how they work and, and or has used them and that they tell you what they do with those angles that you still disagree with? No one. Okay, that's exactly my point. So yeah. You've stopped after step one. People are saying, oh, they're getting these... No, no, I've, I just ask them. everybody that cl comes in claiming it's an argument. I ask them, right, so you're asking what, a bunch what of is the argument? And they're all like you. They, nobody knows. It's not an no, argument. 
I know the basic argument. I just don't know how, because I don't know how it exactly works. You're saying that the, the argument is false. No, I'm just saying I don't think it's an argument. Like you, it it can be stopped with you can do fuck all with an angle, and a sextant just measures an angle. So unless you can tell us what the magic formula about the rest of it is, it's a non-argument. Up to you to decide. I mean, if you want to make it so into I an argument, then. You. I have to tell you what the angle is. No, you just tell me what the argument that. is, Chris. Well, what is I, your I, argument? Well, the the argument at a very basic level is that the section is used for navigation. Uh huh. Dude, come on! Like That's the argument. After that. But what after what do you that. do with the what do you do with the sextant though after you or the angle after you get that. What do you do with how, it? How many times do I have to explain this? Because I don't fully understand how it works, and it therefore or, it doesn't. Or work. even what do you what do you do after you get that angle? What like what? I mean, I don't know. Go go do some research into what they do with the angles. Maybe you'll say, "Oh, okay, they do this with the angles. It does work." Like, have you thought about that? Or you're just asking people who don't know anything about it. Why can't you tell us? <laughs> like seriously. If you're in here preaching about it, you should at least have some sort of inkling about what the hell you're talking about. Not just one. <laughs> it's kind of like him. it's kind of like he thinks we came to him. On... I'd have to call this a uh, argument from ignorance, right? So ignorant, yeah. you haven't even got a clue what the argument is. <laughs> Yeah, admittedly so, but, you know, Chris, you're not alone in that, because nobody can seem to actually word out or write down what the argument actually is. They get as far as you do when they say that it's used in navigation. That's about as far as anybody gets. That's just because they don't understand it then, right? Like, if so you're saying that no one that says they've used the sexism is is telling the truth. No, that's not what we say. That's a really bad misinterpretation, Chris. Really bad. Clear it up for me. Right. You, with this sextant, can only measure an angle. Mm. Right. Now, we say, quite rightly so, you can do fuck all with just an angle. So, what is the procedure, is what we ask that occurs after you measure that angle, which you obviously can. And nobody has, has got an answer. All right, well, let's see if I can get you one real quick. I raise the sextant to measure the angle between an astronomical object and the horizon for the purpose of celestial navigation. The estimation of this angle, the altitude, is known as sighting or shooting the object or taking the sight. The angle and the time when it was measured can be used to calculate a position line on a nautical or aeronautical chart. For example, sighting the sun at noon or Polaris at night in the northern hemisphere to estimate latitude. Sighting the height of a landmark can give a measure of distance off and held horizontally. A sextant can measure angles between objects for position on a chart. A sextant oh, can also be used to measure the, the lunar distance in the moon and this another celestial object such as a star planet in order to determine Greenwich mean time and hence longitude uh mm -hmm. blah, blah 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 yeah yeah okay. okay so what we've got there is already we've just found out you've got a time so you need a clock in order to record the time of the angle you do. and did i hear chart map so I'm, I'm presuming you have to put yourself on the map. Right, so you, you know where you are or where you've come from, where you're going on the map. So you know where you're somewhere along from A to B, right? That's the idea of navigation. It says... You know says, how it works with cars and all of that. You have a map and you know where you are and you know where you're going to go to. So you know the route that you're going to have to take to get from A to B. I mean... 
it's, it says the angle and the time when it measured can be used to calculate a position line on a nautical aeronautical chart. Yeah, so it's so used, on you're a chart. calculating the position. On a chart. On a chart, uh, right? So I'll you have to have the chart. I don't think they had charts back in the 1700s, did they? Of course they did. <laughs> they did? Yeah. Of yeah. course they did, yeah. Okay. Well, you're saying, you're saying it like you know, so take your word for it. Uh, let's see. The section allows celestial objects to be measured relative relative to the horizon, which you guys keep saying that's not the case. And it that's is. an angle. Rather than relative it's an angle to the from the horizon to right. the light in the sky. And what I actually said was that you don't know the length of the arm between you and the horizon. Is what I actually said. Mm -hmm. Right, and I said on their model they claim to. And you agreed that that's bullshit because it's an apparent position that moves by conditions. On whose model? I agree, but they don't. On Globe whose model? model? Globe model has a as a, um, a formula to the horizon. Oh, so you're you're speaking for a, a, another model now. Are you bringing this model into play? I'm just telling you what they're doing. What they're doing? That's interesting. What do you mean, these people? Mm. Sexton does not require a completely steady aim because it measures a relative angle. Um... Are you reading straight off Google? Yeah. Does, well, I'm, I'd say if you're not holding the sextant steady, you're, you're getting an incorrect measurement. It said, real, then what did I just say? Is it relative or something? Relative angle. You're not going to get your Approximate. angle, it's never going to be 100%, no matter what instrument you use, because you're still using your eye and your hands. You're still just measuring an angle, right? And then you're imagining you can do all sorts of other things. We've just added a, a, a watch and a chart. Anything else you want to add in? The chart? This, this, well, let me click. Let me click. Ruif thinks uh, Google Earth. You, uh, you have to use Google Earth after you get your location, your relative sort of location. That's, then what's the point of doing any navigation? If you have Google Earth with you. Well, we're just uh, an idiot. Okay. I don't know that. What you're looking for is how to determine the length of the arms of the angle. That's what you're looking for very specifically. Yeah. You need to know one of the arms length. Otherwise, you fucked. You can't do trigonometry. Says, after a 15 year lapse, the 30th sheet, 30th sheet of naval operations of the US Navy in 2016 instructed that training to use a sextant as a backup navigational device resumed as it does not rely on electrical system. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. It does say navigation, doesn't say GPS, finding out where you are, does it? Well, Don't forget, a chart is one of the things that you have to have with you. So, uh, you'd hope to know where you are, right? Well, even if that was the... Let's just say that's the case, right? Let's say that's the case. So, you've got a chart, so you know where you are. So, working out where you are. Well, no, you... Let's see yeah that doesn't really make sense um i the angle and the time when it was measured can be used to calculate a position line on a nautical air aeronautical chart was what is a position line a line that can be both identified on a chart and observed on the surface of the earth the intersection of two position lines is a fix that is used in position fixing to identify the navigation's location also compl complicated to me 
But yeah, that it doesn't make sense. Like if you had a chart of where you were, why would you need the sextant? You wouldn't. But you need the sextant to. It doesn't make sense why you come in here to try and do this like live. You do realize we are live. You're coming in with yeah. A, I'm, I'm giving you a, a show. Like you don't want argument. You don't want a show. What, you think this is a show? I know it's a show. Oh. What isn't a show is not talking about anything. That's not a show. Okay. Well, I mean, like, yeah, if that's what you want to bring in, a, an angle measuring device, and you want to talk about McToons's challenge, is that what you came in for? <laughs> I just was curious what y'all thought about it. But if you don't think sex and even work, then, yeah, it's a moot point, right? No, I think I, thinking... I think McToons is scamming everybody. Well, he because he knows is. that you can't do anything. Because what he's done is he's taken away from you the chart and the timepiece. And even, oh. it seems, it's took away the angle measurement to Polaris. Because he's claimed all of that for Globe. He's done um, that. So he's all he's left you with is an angle measuring device. Now, he's changed some of that, yeah. I don't, there's no, the timepiece isn't in the challenge, so I'm sure you could use a timepiece. Um, let me see. And what do you, what do you think a timepiece would have to do with uh, an angle? An angle time. Time angle. Well, I, what are you talking about? We read together that it has something to do with it, with the navigation part. But I don't think it's not much to do with geometry, right? The angle is definitely geometrical, isn't it? He says one exemption is allowed, which differs from version one of this challenge. Even though the star charts place the stars in a concentric sphere around the spherical Earth, existing star charts, as published in nautical almanacs, may be used for the challenge. The specific method used to transform the spherical data to a flat Earth plane must be described in detail sufficient to be applied independently during the validation of a submission. So he's still saying you have to then convert it from the nautical almanac globe to a flat surface star chart, which so the angles that, that you measure, right? He wants you to, uh, what are they, uh, globe angles and you have to change them to other angles that, I mean, what exactly does that mean? What's he? What's he yeah, allowing you to do? Have you ever seen one of these? Uh, what did he? What did he say you were allowed to use? What was it? Sextant. No, I know you've got a sextant. Did he say nautical? Because that's boats, isn't it? And so no, you have to do it on the water. Well. Right? Because they don't have nautical charts on land, do they? The nautical. Well, is there any nautical land charts for the uh, what is it almanac? Well, that's what I don't get because they say nautical miles derived from the fact the Earth is round, right? They say it's the. I don't know. I Who have, says? Have to Google can it. I? Can I say something? Yeah. Nautical. They they're using Cartesian coordinates, right? No, we just use using angles. No, no, but to, for those positions on their nautical almanac. I don't know. We've, those not, are... we've not got anywhere yet. We've no, no, but they, just I, I, can it. I can guarantee you it's only a two-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system. I haven't got a clue. What's, I don't, is... don't even know what it is. What is it? What's... A, what's... The almanac that he's allowing you to use, the nautical. Like a star chart. It... The nautical. The is, that on the ground. is that on the water, though? Nautical is, isn't it? Well, in general, but again, it should apply everywhere because it says a nautical mile is slightly longer than a mile on land. A nautical mile is based on Earth's longitude and latitude coordinates with one nautical mile, like one minute of latitude. But it sh wouldn't that apply everywhere if the Earth's round? Like. It's a two-dimensional system. It's telling you right there. 
Exactly. That's a good question you may want to dig into. Historically, it was defined as the median arc length corresponding to one minute of latitude. Yeah, but latitude and longitude are only two-dimensional references. Mm. Well, that, I mean, that's not got anything to do with the angle, though, has it? <laughs> I don't know. I thought we'd moved on from... <laughs> From that. Don't know. I'm, I haven't got a I'm clue. Lost. I'm but... tired. <laughs> yeah. What are we talking about? I'm I'm confused, <laughs> Chris. What... I am too now. Yeah. Someone brought up nautical mile. Oh, okay. I remember because the challenge it said nautical mile, and you said, "Oh, nautical mile does that include land?" Well, I said it would have to to me because it's based on so Chris... and longitude. You came in to talk baseball, and you have no freaking clue what a first down is, what a second down is, what what a home That's run funny. is. But yet, you want to debate this. It's astonishing, bro. I thought you were That's, better than this. I like your analogy because there's no first or second down in baseball, right? Yeah. yeah you're arguing something you have no clue of, bro. It's just not done. Well, don't people do that a lot? Yeah, ballers do that a lot, all the time here. Well, my initial question really was, does does anyone know? Um, well, I guess now I have to ask, does anyone believe that it works in A, or A, and then B, if you do, do you know how it works? That was my initial question. Yeah, so you're, we know what you're doing. Low. We know. It's just an inquiry slash question slash, and then you try to debate something. It's like a baller argument, though. And you're doing that from it's, it's out of ignorance basically it's just you coming in here thinking that everything is you know is it right is, it is out of ignorance shadow giants yeah every everyone's right but us because we're we're the superheroes or something that don't you know <laughs> adhere to anybody else and we're trying to save everyone or something maybe from from their ignorance now, also, Chris, we have captains here, right? Rakia is a captain. He's been in the water. And I've, I've asked Rakia. says, Rakia, do you know how to use a sexton? He says, no. And he was sitting at a table with other captains. And he asked them. And you know what they okay. said, Chris? They said, I have no clue. Okay, and? And? So, because five captains have never used one does it means that they don't it work no it means that you we're giving you information and you're not taking it you're not receiving it because you think that this works somehow you saw a couple of videos and you're taking the standpoint of yeah it must work somehow and we're telling you look dude <laughs> it's a lost art That's not too not many lost. people <laughs> Yeah, it is. So if, it, if it was lost, we wouldn't be talking about it, and there wouldn't be dozens of videos on YouTube on how to do it. I asked a guy. I'm, I'm in a Discord called Maritime Broadcast, and I asked someone. It's called Ask a Captain. I asked. I asked. Does, has anyone ever used a sextant? And then this, the first guy responded, said, "Sure." Yeah, I'm sure there's and, some yacht clubs and some boating clubs that there are people that that know how to use this, right? using the book and all that bullshit, right? But what we're trying to tell you is it's not done anymore. Nobody uses this. And 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 all a sexton does is just an angle. You need charts. You need, first of all, even if you have the angle and you know which way to go, right? What happens when you reach the, the shore, the port? Do you know where the reefs are? Do you know where the rocks are? How are you going to get to port? Do you understand what I'm saying, bro? It's much more difficult than you think it is, man. It's not just that you get an angle and you go that way and then no, no. This is a that's, a skill. That's that's what I've been saying. That's what I said. I said it's complicated. It's yeah, but you're easy. arguing, Chris, you're arguing for it. You're not listening to the the holes in it. Holes in what? 
I still haven't come across someone on this server that knows what they're talking about with sextants. Like but neither do you. One, yeah, I, I know. I'm asking. That's why I'm here asking questions. They, no one's used they one, just they don't measure work. angles. What can't you understand about that, Chris? You take that angle and you do other stuff with it. Right, it's so like you do builder. other stuff with angles, the not the sextant. Angles. Right, it's the procedure that you do after you've measured the angle that you say that we don't understand, right? Which I can't see a purpose for it. It seems to be a fucking ridiculous argument that's been made up by certain people just so you can have this sort of conversation that we're having now that certain people seem to know a lot about an argument that nobody knows anything about. And we're just here so saying you, it, you can't do anything with that angle. You, what do you but, do with the well, angle? Not, not the sextant. The sextant's the angle said. measuring device. Forget about that. It measures angles. Once you've got an angle, what do you do with it? That's your argument. The angle but, argument. Like I said, if you if you just simply don't believe that, if you believe it's made up, that's fair. That's your opinion. And that's what you believe. I mean, if you think that they they made up sextants in 1757 to fool us on no, day uh, Sextants measure angles. You're misrepresenting. What Earth. they are doing with that angle is fooling you. Now, if you think okay. you are the angle master and you're trying to fool other people with <laughs> something that you can miraculously do with the angle that you don't even know what you're doing, right? The, the Whatever magic you think you're trying to do right now uh, with an angle that you don't even know what you're doing with it, I mean, good luck. Please explain. What is it? You just your argument, so please go, explain. If I go away and I figure out what they do with the angle after they measure it, that'll be satisfactory to you. They compare it to charts in a book. Hold on, he should have done. Chris, you should have done that before you came in here. But I didn't know that was going to be his question. You didn't think that we would question you on you just saying, "Oh yeah." I know how to use a sextant. You didn't think we'd question you on that. Have, you, here. Listen, have you listened well, to I us before, say, Chris? I didn't say I knew how to use it, first of all. And second of all, I don't know what questions you'll ask. Chris, I, I, I assume you've listened to us before, though, yeah? I didn't hear Bev's response. So if I go away and I figure out what they do with that angle and how they apply it, will be that'll be satisfactory to you? Well, are you are you going to take it upon yourself to do the research? Yeah, I will. <laughs> but good. they apply it to a two dimensional surface. So, but but that's not the point. The point is, he's saying, "What do they do with the angle?" I'm saying, "I'll go find what they do with the angle, and I'll report back." That's but a start. I'm, that's a I'm start. Yeah. Of is that you'll say, "Oh, well, yeah. they do that," but but this, like, there's always going to be a but on this topic. I just have a feeling. You see, right there tells me that you're arguing that, for it. You you're. By what you just said, you're sure that when you research this, that you're going to find that it works. No, I said I'm sure I'll be able to find what they do with the angle. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. They, they apply it to a book. Okay, so if they do, that's what they do with the angle. Mm -hmm. Bev's saying they don't do anything with it. It's just an angle. What can you do with an angle? Yeah, they what can you do? Book. Yeah. What, who made, Who wrote the book? What book? People who, who navigated. You've just given him the book. Like, what Chris has done yeah, is he's coming you. here on the fly, right, with a non-argument. And he's playing this trick where he doesn't have the argument, but you lead him. And he then plays on your thing. So uh, you've just given him a book now. Now, what book is that that you're using now, Chris? Yeah, what book did you give me? Yeah. I didn't give them any books. I told yeah, you what you they do with their stupid angle is they apply it to numbers in a book. Yeah. Okay, so that's what they do with it. See, there you go. You've given him the book again, and the angle's in the yeah. book. Like, now I've, already, yeah. I've just answered Bev's question. Mm -hmm. 
Get the latitude. Did, did you? Do, do, now, please, everybody, listen to what's going on. Chris has no argument, and he is leading you into giving him his argument that he can then uh, ask you again about. It's a very clever tactic. Right. It's a round and round circular I'm, argument going nowhere. It's a non-argument. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, the reason why is because you don't have the length of either of those two arms. Like, how difficult oh, is this? God, you guys are hilarious. Bev's all about what can you do the angle. This guy's like, the whole show has been like, what can you do? You don't have the length of arms. And what both of those are that? true. What, what did you get out of that? They just, they just keep going back to the. It doesn't matter what you tell them. They just go back to that to those same words. How about what I told you? What did you tell me? You haven't told us anything, and it's your topic. Jesus, man, oh, I'm right. proud He's of you. No, I'm tired of hearing us talking about I'm, I'm yelling because yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yelling because I'm in a machine, making sure you can hear me. We all we're trolling you. Do you understand that? We yeah, know sure. what you're doing, right? And we're leading you, and you sure. think you're leading us. Oh, okay. Okay. You sound retarded now. Oh, that's a hard R. Well, you came here with a sextant argument or a topic, knowing that we don't. Bev's whole thing is you can do F all with an ankle, and you're in here with an angle measuring machine. I didn't that's know, funny. I didn't know that. I he know told you ten times. Yeah, but you're saying like I came in here to provoke. Yeah, Bev. and after you heard that, you've kept on and on and on. No, oh, I. But yeah. Now but you're on us. You wanted us to go research. Now you're asking us about oh, a book? I definitely do. Well, you, it's just a circular argument, right? It's, you're here just for the argument. You agreed a while ago. You're here for the argument. I didn't give us a show. Book. Give us a show. I didn't you even get, bring up the book. Are you here to give us a show? Or are you here to learn about the sex? Well, I can't learn about the sex from anybody here. Exactly. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go, people. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Grace. You do better than that. That's an honest question. Hey, hey, who's trolling who, Chris? That's an honest question. He laughed at me when I said I'm, who, uh, we're trolling him, and that didn't take long. No, it's an honest question because I, I've hey, been in here talking. Have a good day, Chris. We all laughed at you. Yeah, see you. See you, Rikia. I've been in here talking for the last 45 minutes, having a fine conversation, and then you – I mean, what are you doing here? Well, have you been listening for the last 45 minutes? I've been asking questions and, and giving responses. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I figured it out. I know what you're doing here, Chris. Uh, you're trying to get info to collect that 10 grand. <laughs> that was my reason for coming here. Yeah. Because. Yeah, see that, boys? So let me. Well, I've already said that. So that's clear. But let me let me say this. Okay. Uh, this is all pre everything is all supposition even even the globe the globe model obviously is and, and the way the section works on the globe model is but what i was saying is if it works the way they say it works on a globe and if the earth is flat then it will work on a flat earth or it works on a flat earth because the earth is flat right that's my whole contention but then but then i got thrown for but a the earth's not flat but then i got thrown for a loop oh come on with that nonsense because Bev was like, oh, well, does it even work? And then I'm like, okay. Maybe why is that nonsense? He didn't say it didn't work. He says an angle. You can't do fuck all with an angle. That's but the argument. That means that it doesn't do anything then. Why would you? No, it, it means, it? no, you're, you're not getting it. It means that device just measures an angle. Now, what you do you with that angle that after, angle. What, what you do with that angle after, that's a whole different thing. But that device exactly. just measures an angle. And. Right. The angle itself, you can do fuck all with it. It's just an angle. I, I said multiple times, you take that angle and you apply it to other things. Well, right, and we questioned you and you didn't know what those other things were. Well, we read a couple of them together. The other was you need a watch so that you can take accurate time. So that's a, that's another parameter that you need. The horizon was a, another parameter. The, the object in the sky was another parameter, right? So now we're coming... Adding up all these parameters, 
start using this one angle that you guys keep saying isn't anything. Well, can I then ask you, like, does the clock or any of the other things you just mentioned give you the actual length of the arms forming the angle you get from the sextant? That's another point you didn't address. You just laughed at. In order to do this trig, right, with these lights in the sky, what Saragaki just said is very important. Address that, Chris. Repeat the question, please. Does any of the things you just mentioned, right, the clock, the horizon, the light in the sky, give you the length of the arms forming the angle that you get from the sextant? Give you the length of the arms? Yes, the length of the no, arms. No, because you have to know how far away whatever you're pointing it at is. Thank you, Rob. Yes, that's the correct answer. Well, I know that if you're using an object on the Earth, you, you could know the distance between you and that object. You have one Hey, but we're not talking about objects on Earth. We're talking about objects, lights in the sky. Horizon and light in the sky, very specifically, because that's what you listed. I assume, of course, you're not going to get the length of the arms using a clock alone. So I'm assuming that the horizon and the light in the sky is the prevalent issue. And you cannot get the distance to either or. That is really the crux of your problem. Or not your problem, but the whole problem of the you know, sextant navigation. You they don't say... know the length of the arms. Are they saying they need to know the length of the arms? To do trig, yeah. The, to use the sextant for celestial navigation, I'm asking. No, you just use the sextant to measure an angle. Celestial navigation is what you do afterwards. And you listed a whole bunch of things you need. But you did not list the length of the arm, or the arms multiple, of the angle that you get with the sextant. You cannot get the length of those arms. What you can do is presuppose the length of arms and then do math, yes. But you can't actually get the length of the arms. You, you, so you know you're saying that you need the length of the arms to, to use a sextant? and to No, the sextant just measures an angle. What you need the length of the arms for is to do actual trigonometry with it. Can you cite that saying you need to, the length of the arms to use for... The that you need that more than just a single angle to do trigonometry. You need to cite that to you. It needs a trigonometry lesson now. Seems so. Oh, for, no, it's a celestial navigation lesson. Which is... What? Trigonometry, right? Yeah, you need no, the length no. of the arms. So cite that. It's, it says that you need to do that. The, the, geometry, the, trig. the misunderstanding of geometry is unbelievable, right? Yeah, it really is. Something, something else we need to do with the guy who brought the argument here. Let's, let's go out and do some more for him. Maybe <laughs> he's right, Rikia. Right that's not right, Ricky. This guy is saying you need to do that, and I'm asking him why you need to do that. Why you need the length of the arms of the angle, or because at the least has three them. points. Yeah, you definitely First, need more than just the one angle to do trigonometry. Yes. You don't know that, Chris. No trigonometry. You didn't know that. How to no, solve the triangle? You. you didn't know that. Oh, he's saying that for celestial navigation, you have to, you only, and have to use trigonometry. Is that right, bro? In if order I for you, I'd stop talking now and I'd go look into it, bro. You, it's very embarrassing, seriously. Well, he, you and I like you. I have nothing. Against... I'm telling you, like, as I would tell a friend of mine, cut it, quit it, go look into this, because, bro, it, it's not good. What's not good? The, the stuff that you're saying. What's, what am I saying that's not good? About the trig. About not knowing the side that you didn't know that and you want a citation for that. Asking that's why you need distances to do trigonometry. That's not what I said. You're not listening, Essie. You've been in this server too long, I guess. I said, show me in celestial navigation where you're only using tri trigonometry. Well, that's not what you said. 
That's and, not what you that's said. That's exactly what I said. And or where you need the length. No, the Sarah arms. Gaki told you about needing the length of the arm. And you said to him, I could be wrong, but you said to him, show me proof of that. Show me why you need the length of the arm. Exactly. So, so now you're changing. So you admit that you said that and not what you just said before. So who's who's no, been too I, long I, I in this server, what, Chris? I didn't say what you said. I said he if this gentleman is saying you need the length of the I'm arm. I'm checking it pretty soon. Y'all want me to leave right now? Now we're yeah. arguing about what he said, she said, he said, I didn't say that. You ever heard this before? Yep. Yeah. If this person's saying you need the length of the arms for celestial navigation, I simply ask and then right back into it. Right, it's a non-argument <laughs> argument, right? That's all he's ever had. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised he's... that um, Chris. How long have you been in this community? Which community? Um, I, I'm guessing the uh, flat earth. You're a, you're a flat earther, right? No. I'm You're a not a flat earther. earther, okay. How long I'm have you been earther. in the globe earth community then? The model afflicted uh, community. You're not, you're not listening to me. I'm a level earther with elevation change. Right. How long have you been in the uh, level earther with uh, elevation change community, Chris? A couple months. A couple of months, right. And what were you before that? Because I think, I'm sure I've heard of your name in this um, for a few years, right? You're old school. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm old. Yeah. So what were you, what were you then? What? What were you before a couple of months ago, before you changed to? What? You were a flat earther. Yeah. Hey, like, like me. Hey. Yo, you guys are reacting a little weird. Who is? You, hey, calm down, percentage. Guys. Yeah, yeah. No, all good here. So he has he has questions, right? And, <laughs> and, and... <laughs> no, I'm, not I mean, I'm saying for real, I, I, you guys, I, I, your reaction I, 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 is a little I, 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 weird. You're gaslighting it. Yeah, tell great. Him, how you guys, you, you don't know how it works. How many so minutes go have research you been here? We, don't, we, we can't have answer told questions. him that an hour ago. How long have you been here, percentage? The, the entire time. You know. Yeah, yeah. Maybe quarter. Part of the team. Right? Not, I don't know how long you guys been going at it. You were a team you've been player. Here an maybe hour? half an hour now. Half an hour. So you've heard us tell him that we don't know, right? That you can't do anything with an angle. The section just gives you an angle. We don't have the book. We've never used them. And so, what's your point now? That we should just tell him we don't know, and he should go so research it and come back yeah, and tell us. That's what we did tell him. It's SE just well, told him. Chris, that. then take the hint. If they, they don't yeah. know See you the later. Answers, like, to the questions you're talking helped. about, then maybe go research, you know, in a different venue. I I, I, said, I already said I would. All right, then. Mm -hmm. I said I would like, go Leave it at that. I don't know why you guys are, like, making like, aspirations to his character and stuff. Who knows? Because he keeps going on. All he has to do is say, okay, I'm going to look into it. Thanks, guys. And we'll talk another time. That's it. Wait a minute. Man. Can I just, with can can I just check um, why Percentage thinks he's a moderator now in here? I'm not moderating. Oh. I'm just calling, you know, weird uh, weird behavior out. What's the weird I'm behavior? Not, did I mute anyone? Did I somehow what, use any what, moderator? What powers? is the no. weird behavior specifically? That the you weird think? behavior is the gaslighting and like the, asp the you know. Um, How is a gaslighting? Character. Yeah, go on. Gaslighting. What? What's gaslighting? Which the gaslighting thing? him like as if you know that there's that he's something's wrong with him for asking questions as to how this thing works. There's nothing wrong with it, you know with asking being curious. Questions. About how the what thing works? So what what thing. is the thing that he's Lord, asking okay. questions about? Don't ask pedant, like remedial questions. We'll you know what we're talking about. No, we're I don't know what you're celestial. talking about. You just jumped we're in. We're talking about navigation using a uh, sextant. Come on, man. Don't ask dumb questions. Mm. Please. Wow. What's a dumb question? The the fact that <laughs> Chris on, has come in <laughs> saying yeah, about an angle measurement. Do you know how to use it, percentage? Have you ever done any? Seeing as you've come in to help him. Wait, what have you done uh, within this argument? What have you researched? You don't have to divert to me. No, no. Well, you, Duan came in. He said that we were gaslighting something. What was the, what was yeah, it exactly that, that we were gaslighting? You're you're getting a little, you know, tilted. 
It was just weird behavior. I called it out. Take it or leave it. Well, I'm saying the weird behavior for me is you jumping in. Like, now, what is the gaslighting, please, that you said we were doing when you jumped in with weird behavior, saying that we were gaslighting? Can you give us a specific example of the gaslighting? Okay, I'll take your criticism as you should take mine. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Or leave it. It makes no difference to me. Okay. It's not weird, per se, because it happens every time I come here. I don't know. Oh, this isn't, this isn't gaslighting by you two, by any chance. Is that what you're doing? You're telling us what the tactic's going on? I don't yeah, know if, if it counts as gaslighting when I straight up said what I meant. You know, there's no manipulation, no nothing. Uh-huh. But so, percentage, you don't find it weird that he comes in with an argument or questions, right, about something, and he, and he insists that it's possible, but he has no clue what it is? You don't find that a little weird? No, I, th- I think he definitely believes that it works. And he's, you know, trying to maybe show that you guys don't know how it works and call you guys out. Oh, we on, told him that we your, don't know. Because you guys are making an argument from ignorance. You don't know how it works, but you say it doesn't work, right? So no, listen. Listen what I told him. I don't know. Listen what I told him. I told him I've seen a video of how it works. It was explained down to the detail started with polaris then another star on the bottom that's uh, incorporated he started with the book positions um uh like corrections uh, human correction the sextant cor- i've saw, i saw the whole thing and i told him this is a lost art not too many people know about this i was very specific yeah you, you were you were the only one out of everyone that said like that you kind of understand it and you still think that it's, you know, it's impossible to do in actuality. That it's like something like theoretical or, you know, you not practical or whatever. can do fuck all. Now that is gaslighting. Angle, right? Don't misrepresent that particular argument, which it seems like you are doing. You and Chris, for some reason. Really weird. I haven't that's, made any argument to an that argument. topic whatsoever. Mm-hmm. It's a statement. Geometric exactly. fact, which you keep arguing that it's, it's, some people have got books and some people can do fantastic things, but you don't know how they can. They're just like wizards, but they've told you they can. And that's good for you. And that's more than you need um, to argue against us when we say you can't. Geometric fact. And you say, Ooh. well, other people say they can. Which is a fantastic you know argument, guys. It's a fantastic. I like it. Yeah. And you know what percentage? After I saw that video, you know what I said? I said, anyone here in this community, any one of us, with maybe the exception of Rakia, because he knows about charts, if we were to use that system, we'd all be dead. <laughs> I put my freaking money on it. We'd all be dead, all of us. Fair enough. Just watch a video on how they do it, what it takes, what you need to know, the inclinations, the angles, the this, the that. And you're doing this in the rough seas? <laughs> I'd like to see that, man. Hang on, hang on. Jesse, they're also, when they do all this, they've made a book to apply it to a two dimensional number. Yeah, yeah. They do it on, on, on paper. Yeah, of course. And every measurement has a correction. And I mean every freaking measurement. Everything. From the starting, uh, okay, I think I'm here. Okay, you say you think you're here. Okay, this is the correction for that. Then next, the angle. Oh, this is the correction for that. Then human error. Then the, the, Man, it takes like a half an hour just to do it. There's five corrections, I think, usually. Dip, refraction, semi-diameter, parallax, and index error. All of that on a boat. Do it. It all applied to a two-dimensional surface. Correct time. Dip. Dip's pretty hard. Then you got to do refraction. That's even... Then I, then then I-, I researched and I, and I asked, like, okay, how many people do this? Like, is this still done? 
No freaking way. Nobody knows how to do this. As a matter of fact, there's a law that, um, I forget how many tons of a boat, that by law, one person on the boat has to know this. By law. Okay? That's how they, how forgotten this art is. Because if that GPS goes, they're they're finished, man. They're gone. There's, there's no way they can navigate. I'm telling you, man, this is not a joke. Just because you hear 10th man, yeah, you draw three circles and a high altitude. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'll bet money the 10th man doesn't know fuck all about this. And anybody could tell him I said that. Yeah, I don't agree with that. I think 10th man knows a lot about seconds, but he knows that you need the stupid book. Now, I disagree with you because I asked him. I said, hey, 10th, if I place you in the middle of the ocean blindfolded and we'll helicopter you in, can you find your way home with the sextant? You know what he told me, Rob? If Isn't he had the book, it? maybe. No. No, not even that. No, he said, isn't that how they do it? I don't talk for nothing. I know, you're, you, that's why you're here. Have you asked anybody over there, Chris? I mean, who is the, uh, or is he gone? This looks like he's left. He's adding off. Yeah, percentage gave him an out. What's that? I said percentage gave him an out. Mm hmm Yeah, weird that way. I wonder why he come in here to do that. Info on the 10 G's. He's gone. <laughs> he was bored. Mm. Wanted some drama. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it is weird how he he just left. <laughs> it's also weird how you defended him after an hour of us hearing him like circumvent. And like he's laughing in the background, going, I can't believe they fell for it. They talked to me for an hour about the sextant, knowing that I know they don't care about the sextant and don't know anything about it. And he doesn't know anything well, about let it. Let me ask, because it's the first time I've heard it's this. A genius Chris dude. argument. Is he like this usually? Like, does has this happened before? All the time. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who he is. I mean, the last time he came in, he acted a little bit weird. He told you, right? Every time I come in here, I get treated like this. Yeah, yeah because yeah, every that, time but... he comes in here, he acts like he did for the last hour. He's just here to wind people up, so man. It's like time a, a dynamic that you guys got going, huh? No, just entertainment. He he told you the truth. If you were listening, he's here to entertain. He's here to give us a show. Time waster. Did you learn anything about the sextant in the last hour? Ooh. Nothing that I didn't already know. Exactly. <laughs> Why don't you ask me if I've used this exit or how it works? If I know how it works, probably not. But I don't need to do celestial navigation on a two-dimensional surface. So if we're on a boat right now and we had Captain Chris and Captain Rakia, Captain Chris said, go that way. And Rakia said, go that way. Who would you listen to? Is that for me? Uh-huh. I don't know who I'd Rakia, listen to. Because I don't know if, uh, if Chris has, you know, driven a boat. But I'd probably look at the information and, and make my own decision. Unless it's Rakia's boat, because, you know... <laughs> Well, it could be that I've seen Rocky on a boat dozens of times, pictures, show me his boat, painting it, motors, all kinds of stuff. 
heard him talk about charts and and then this guy comes in and says I have a sexton We'll definitely go with him then. I mean, he has a sexton after all. <laughs> yeah, but that's what let I was me, thinking. Let me give you a prime example of my area, right? We have all rigs, like uh, hundreds of them, thousands of them. And we plot them, uh, they're plotted on charts. So if we get lost, right, we can say, okay, that's, um, that's West Delta 93 right there. And West Delta 117 is, is to the north of there because it's a bigger, uh, south of there because it's a bigger number. And on the chart, it's here, and our our um, port is here, so we need to go this direction, right? At this yeah. angle, away from those two oil rigs, and we'll hit land near our port, right? That's mm -hmm. all they're doing with the lights in the sky. It's like, like the oil rigs are the lights. Just put them up in the sky. That's it. Yeah, and I don't see why it wouldn't work if you have if you've mapped out the the sky perfectly right and you know the angles to you know from from yourself to these celestial landmarks like why wouldn't it why wouldn't it tell you your your location why couldn't you navigate from that uh, without saying without having any kind of like you know claims about the earth all, if you've perfectly mapped out the sky and you, you know what angles you know correspond to what locations on earth it should it should work I don't know. We're measuring angles still. That's only part of it, right? You can say, okay, I'm going to go north because you know whatever, where the, 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 the Polaris is, right? But even if you get that far, right? Now, when you get to port, when you get into the land, right? What happens then? Do you know where the rocks are? Do you know where the reefs are? No, but that's something else. You know, that's not no longer navigation. That's more like, you know, just knowing how to... Yeah, but I'm giving you the whole picture here, you know? Trying yeah, to, of course. Trying oh, to... If it yeah. was like disembarking and... Em I mean, embarking in... Wait. Is it disembarking when you leave port? Anyways. Um, going and coming back and, you know, the whole journey, then I would definitely go with someone with experience. Like out of Chris or, or Rakia. If, I would go with Rakia. Because as far as I know, Chris doesn't have any experience in that regard. Look, I'm willing to accept that <clears throat> there's a um, there's a pattern in the sky, right? That reoccurs all the time, and people through the ages have figured out a way to navigate using that. I'm willing to accept that, mm -hmm. but as no, far as like knowing where exactly you are, like the GPS kind of, uh, I, I don't think that's possible. I don't know about GPS, but let's say that you've perfectly mapped out these uh, the stars or what have you, the sky, right? So who's sorry? Um, you've perfectly mapped out the stars. Yeah, hypothetically. Oh, is that let's your starting base? That's a yeah. yeah. Let's say, like I'm just saying, theoretically, it should work if you have this map of the sky and you know exactly which angles of what you know, celestial objects correspond to what position on the ground, right? Like, for instance, if I have Polaris, that's like, and it's 60 degrees, I mean, it's like, let's say 30 degrees elevation, and then to the side you have, like, Orion, and so it's you've, 15 degrees. You've then... plotted the lights in the sky on the ground. No, not necessarily the lights of the sky, but the angles to the lights of the sky corresponding to, to the ground. What you mean? So, no, for no, instance, no. right now, if it's if it's nighttime for any of you guys, you go outside, you see to your northwest, you have this constellation at this altitude, and to the east, you have this constellation at this altitude, and you know to the south, you have this constellation at this altitude, and all of them correspond to your position now. Let's say you've done that everywhere on Earth, you know, then and you have all this in a compendium, like in in a book of sorts that tells you if this star is Sounds at this magical. angle and this star is at this angle and this star is at this angle, then your position will be X. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, I think it's possible. I don't see why it wouldn't be, because it's just going off the sidereal cycle, and you don't even need to know what time it is. It'll tell you 
also what time of the year it is in that location because you see a certain like you see certain constellations at certain times of the year right so that's not gonna work with their so, with their with their thing they need down to the second when you sight a star using this magic formula you gotta be down to the second yeah so you absolutely need a clock for this well, system no, here that, is right? the clock right no wrong How not about? for this not the, you need to be way more precise than that well that makes sense if the sky is constantly moving makes sense I specifically heard the guy say many times you got to be down to the second it's that's very important that detail is very important when you sight that star that angle you got to write the precise time down yeah as a matter let of fact be... go ahead I was, gonna, I was gonna say let me be clear i don't think we have mapped out the sky perfectly and to every position on earth such that we could use whatever i'm envisioning i'm absolutely yeah so I'm just saying, theoretically, I think that would be possible. They're obviously talking about doing something else, and um, I don't know enough about it to know the conversions based off the book. Yeah, hold up a second. Well, that's a good answer. You don't know enough about it. Neither, excuse me, neither do I, mind you. I'm not trying to be like the expert here. I'm just trying to show you the difficulties involved in this. And they make it seem, oh, you just take three circles, uh, equal altitude, boom, I'm here. No. No. It's like everybody now is uh, talking about an argument that somebody else has brought into it. And now everybody's talking about how you justify an argument that nobody's ever made. So you're literally making up the argument for somebody who's made up an argument. It's it's really weird that you know the the very fact of these people coming in here to bring in this argument that we've never had because you can do fuck all with an angle has now developed into an argument or a discussion about something that we're all imagining. It's it the strangest day here yet. Yeah. With percentage still wanting to talk about the sexton. Yeah. After he came in and saved Chris. I wanted to talk about the sex in for now when we clearly did crazy man. this is weird i don't get the people that brought this into the arena don't really want to explain it to anybody and people come to us like rather than go into the people that brought the arguments like you know i haven't got a clue what's going on it's one of the weirdest things ever we can so tell I you the geometric weird. facts about it yeah, I had enough of this sexton argument. I oh, mean, either put up or shut up. I've queued it up again. The thing that we were meant to be doing, going over the uh, test. Remember Bev's test is, I mean, it's not got many views from B-Ball. Maybe people don't want us going over it for some reason. I haven't got a clue. Maybe that's what they're doing. They're bringing a non-argument in to see how long they can keep us from uh, going over... The actual test. Well, isn't it weird that both sides of the argument are offering huge sums of money, but, but neither side has collected? Isn't that weird? Mm -hmm. Both sides of the argument have large sums of money. But the only thing is, the, the globe side money offering, he's got a lot of stipulations. Seems strange. I want to see Tenth do an in-depth explanation showing how you navigate using a sextant. That's what I want to see. Well, you need the books. We, you need the books. No, it's only yeah. right. I want him. I want everybody to know how difficult this is. Yeah. That thing that they're talking about. But the the important part of this, everybody needs to understand, is the using a two-dimensional surface to navigate because they're only a two-dimensional coordinate system they're using charts right. yeah on a two-dimensional coordinate system well no the charts are the flat maps all, all maps are flat 
So the chart, that's right. the charts are flat that they're using to plot all of the points on. I mean, that's as simple as it is. It needs to be. But I mean, I I'd, I'd like. And with SE, I'd like to see somebody explain it. I, I can't understand why people keep coming here to talk to us about it when we have a very simple well, thing that you can do fuck all with an angle. So you've got to have something else, if whether it's a magic book. Well, that they, they don't they don't like you saying that, Bev. I know because they can do something with that angle. I can apply it to a book. They can apply it to a book and do formulas and things with it. In order yeah. to do more, but you can't so we can we can do something. Yeah, we can do something with the angle. You say we can't do anything with the angle, but here I am showing you I can do something with the angle. Yeah, once you give me a chart, <laughs> a position, and a, you know, a like clock, all of these other things that you, yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is ridiculous. Look, I have no That's beef with weird. anybody, but I, I, I just want everybody to understand this procedure, what it is. It's not as simple as people think. And I think the person that brought it out should make a video and show exactly what this celestial navigation is. Nothing personal against anybody, but there's just too much bull around this. Too much. Well, they're, they, they're, they're kind of on our side because they're using level is horizontal because their horizontal baseline is their most important point they're sticking on right now. Who's? The horizontal baseline. Who's? The, the sextant argument on the flat earth side. Do you know I don't think that's I mean? correct, Rob. No? Okay, I, I, yeah. I could be wrong. It's not a tool for for establishing a horizontal though, a sextant. No, it just measures angles. No, no, but but they they their big thing is their how do you acquire an elevation angle from a curved baseline? You can't. They want to make the horizontal baseline straight line, well, which it is. A sextant but measures the, an the, angle. The globe. Yeah, I know, but your your angle is from you to the horizon should be a straight line. Yeah, but on a globe, are. it is not a straight line. Well, angles are straight lines, though. Right? I know, but on a globe, argument. Yeah, but that's the, the yeah. that's the thing. There are the globe argument is a sextant only works on a globe. Well, no, because you're applying it to a two-dimensional surface of a sphere that you coordinated. Well, I don't know what the globe argument is. It's as quiet as the flat Earth argument, as far as I know. I, I, yeah. Well, I, I hear you. I just thought that the the globe evangelist would be able to tell you, like, make MC Tune there, like he would know exactly how it's done. He knows you're applying it to a two-dimensional surface in a book. That's why he doesn't want them using the book. I'm, I'm, as far I'm as not... I don't really know, I don't really know too much about his challenge. Uh, I'll give you, I, I'll say that. I could care less about his $10,000 challenge. And he's even said he's had nobody even look into his challenge or something. He did, yeah. That, Brian Lee did go over there and do it last night. He made a video. Yeah, I, I listened to five minutes of that, and I was like, I can't. So you, there are flat earthers that are doing it, right? Right. Because oh, they want 10 grand. Uh-huh. It's all just so they can get 10 grand. But so Tam should go and get this 10 grand. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I don't almost think at Kent the point is interested in the ten grand. Ten thousand dollars to not talk. The guy about who it. brought it up <laughs> should go and claim the money. Go ahead, tenth. Go get it. I, I vote for the video. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> I'm with Buster. I'm with Buster. Right? Are we? Are oh, we? Are we finally oh, ready oh. to go over this now? Then. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, sir. The, uh, I'm ready. Everyone oh, in Discord. Is still here? Does he want to talk about the sex more? Or? 
percent. I think yeah. he got a phone hey, call hey. or somebody in the booth next to him, whatever. All right, I guess we can move on then. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Right, so you guys in Discord jump into the uh, mainstream. Oh, uh, is it only going to play on YouTube? No, jump in the stream. I've just hooked the stream up in Discord, so you oh. can jump in there and you can... Uh, All right, I, th I, th th I think I'm in. Right, now, uh, this particular video, I think I recorded it for myself, but I don't think I put it out. I think this only went out on Brandon's. And for some reason, B-Balls decided to uh, put it back out again. And this is about... Well, you, you'll see. I don't. I don't know why he's put it back out again, but we'll go over it. B ball, uh, Earth is life. Uh, video. Remember Bev's test. It's titled. So here we go. What's up, Earthlings? Today, I want to highlight a video by Sly Sparkane exposing the dishonesty of Bev's so-called test he presented on Brandon's a while back. What's interesting about this? is that when Brandon asked Bev a very pertinent question about a specific part of the test, he answered in a way which... He sounds pretty low volume. Is that for you guys as well, or...? No, it yeah, sounds pretty good to me. Head. Is it? It's not I got a headphone on. I, the a little bit, so. I got I a headphone on. I couldn't hear it. You might have to I can re-click on the live Bev button. I, I heard it just fine. I, I just I turned the stream volume up, so yeah, I can't be, I can't uh, really oh, get the, that loud for everybody else. I don't think. Yeah. I'm hoping I, it comes I through okay, it up, okay on the uh, YouTube. It'll probably be the the worst, but I mean, here we go. Which revealed the true dishonest nature of that test. Bev later went on to perform this quote unquote test, but only for a few of his loyal followers in his Discord server. It wasn't live streamed on YouTube <laughs> or recorded. There's no data, there's no measurements, there's absolutely no documentation that exists of this test except for a few pictures of him handling the tubes from the water level. So, here it is. Enjoy. And once again, thanks for watching. The link to Sly Sparkane's original video will be in the description. I do have a question for you while we're... Right, so, there you go. He's just pointed out... Yeah. I can't... I don't know what I can do. I don't think I can turn it up anymore. I don't know why B-Ball's volume is so low. Sounds fine to me. Yeah, I mean, that's in the stream. You can change the stream volume within Discord on, on YouTube. Uh, I don't know, hopefully. But what he's just said there is, like, we, we have actually done this test. Well, it's a modified test version of this one, I think. Uh slightly different from what this is this is the old test but yeah we did we live streamed it on discord obviously because we was live streaming it as we were doing it it's a test we did it for me and spot on just for ourselves so the test has been done and it was very successful thank you very much we will be doing it again but this is the basis of the test like he said it's been done no praise or anything. We just did it in the Discord server, and everybody that's in here knows that we did the test. So I'm I'm sorry about this, guys, but until we can do something about the volume, we'll just have to put up with it. So he's going to go back to one of the times that I was explaining uh, this test, I think, for Sly Sparko. We're waiting for Clary. Cool. So between each of the 100 meter... All right, now this is the question from Brandon. And pay specific attention to how Bev actually answers this question. Uh, sections. Ooh. You're going to auto level, and that'll show that there's a horizontal between each post. So the 100 meters... Well is there, a horror there, horror wouldn't, horror, right? there would never need to be a, a the water level right the water level is is what we've got to do an extra test all you would have is 
a staff like that and that would be here at these posts there there and there and you would just take a reading well, one of them would become the back of the foresight and the other one would become the backside and then as you moved to the next spot um these would have to be on like a pin or something locked in you know oh just to clarify what he's talking about about using that staff is absolutely useless it's great for doing a two peg test but using that staff is basically he's going to be checking the 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 differentiating heights of the uh of whatever surface that he's on it has nothing to do with the water level it will not be the same checking against a water level that's just uh, the absurdity is just sorry um, this me talking now. I've not got a clue. This is the first time I've ever heard this. So, oh my God, what what's that? What's he talking about? That was unbelievable statement. Well, that's just me explaining how um, an auto level works and the way you do differential leveling, uh, transferring a like a benchmark from one position who, to the next. Who I mean, is that? Is that Sly? That's Sly Sparkane, yeah. So he knows nothing how to yeah, use this Yeah, he hasn't tools. got a clue, obviously. Wow. That statement right there sums it up. Yeah. Well, th thanks, Sly. I mean, so Sly's making videos about this and B-Ball's reposting them, putting them back out again. But, yeah. Well, since we had to tell B-Ball he needed to go buy a story pool, <laughs> and explain to him what it was. I would say B-Ball probably doesn't know how to operate it either, but he's using someone named Sly now that obviously doesn't know by that statement. But anyway, carry on. Yeah, that's, so, I mean, he's cut into it half of a thing while I'm trying to explain um, the... Ooh, well, I'm just trying to explain how differential leveling works here to a group of people, it looks like, over at Brandon's. And Sly's taking him. Well, here we go. See what he says. To the next spot. Um, these would have to be on like a pin or something locked in, you know, so that this doesn't move as as you move this one. This one doesn't move, and that one. So you, all you're doing is you're moving a measurement. the The water level is just one step above because what we found is that a lot of people don't. I mean, even surveyors, you, you ask surveyors um, what would be more accurate, the water level or the, uh, the the auto level. They'll tell you they haven't got a clue. They don't know. Uh, there's, uh, there's, something, there's something a bit weird going on. But, I mean, this is just logical, practical uh, sense. It just makes sense. And how long could you go and do that for? And, you know, to establish a horizontal? Well, I'd say you could do it indefinitely, but other people like to see, as you'll find out later on, they like to sort of add in calculations of reality. Yeah, indefinitely in 100 meter pieces. Sure. Did that explain it? Sorry, I may have rambled a bit then. No, 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 you did explain it. My only question would be, let's say each of those posts that you have on there, the three uh, posts with the water level going up to the top are A, B, and C from left to right. What's yep. to say that A and B and B and C, um, that there's not an angle between those two? What I mean is, right. how do you know A and C are also on a horizontal? We know A and B would and B and C would, but how do we know A to C is a, one long horizontal? Ooh. B and C, like that, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. all you do is... Because you could take that water level and walk all the way back well and it's at the same elevation the whole way yeah he's he's asking brandon's asking about the hump how do you There's know no there hump. is no hump i think brandon's saying uh, right because you could because you could take your your c like i'm not even watching but i know you could take if you had your water level at a and c 
you could take your water level at C and walk to B, and they're going to be at the exact same height. Anywhere in between, they're still at the exact same height. Well, that, that makes logical sense. But Brandon's asking, how do you know it's not up higher? <laughs> but just asking the question shows your ignorance of the topic well this is brandon of the tool yeah brandon take took over from ranty it's worth going over right especially as we're dealing with paralogisms carry on that right yeah well yeah. all you do is you blank that off and you make a <laughs> to see your that would be a horizontal right the water level allows you to do that you, you just don't i mean like in a water level it oh see what's he doing he's moving me around here all right y'all caught that part right you take out the middle one and then now you have the new line between A and C. Ignoring A to B and B to C like Brandon asked. Let me do Ignoring. that one more time. Yeah, right. So what I said, right, because he said from A to B and B to C, I said if you take out B, then all you have is A to C. So that becomes the horizontal. So A to B should be on the same horizontal, but you you don't need to have B in the middle of your water level. You never need to have that position in the middle because that's not how water levels work. There's only two bits. You'd have to be ridiculous to put a piece in the middle of a water level to check that the bit in the middle is level with it, wouldn't you? I mean, who... How model afflicted would you have to be to ask whether it's higher in the middle, the bit where the water level isn't? Isn't that where the gravity suck in the water? Well, it must be humping it. I think Brandon's asking about the hump. Slice bar right. pain, I know for a fact, he's looking for the hump. But in him looking for the hump, he's forgetting about the drop that he needs. With the uh, Ruhif numbers. Right? That's what all this is about. Slice Bar Kane. Oh, I'm here. Because of the stuff that Slice Bar Kane was doing. With Fight the Flat Earth. At the beginning. It's Slice Bar Kane's bending water level experiment. That he did. That inspired when we did our water level test. We, it's very similar. We have a shared straight line realizing euclid test using water levels and he has a bending water level that he does with water levels anybody that went out there expecting the water to bend has issues in yeah. my opinion well the question is can you devise a test or imagine a way to use a water level in order to show it's a straight line and not curved. Can you... Can the water level itself do that? <laughs> I mean, like, the silly question is, can you prove that level is a horizontal? Yeah. yeah. Why would you ever think you have to prove that? It's a ridiculous concept to start off with. Which is something I did to myself. Yeah, if it wasn't for the counter argument, that would never be considered. Yeah. Yeah, nobody would ever have to consider it until somebody talk, called you a child abuser for saying level is <laughs> horizontal, right? Yeah. You'd nobody never nobody would ever need look into this other than somebody being absolutely ridiculous, bigoted person. That got triggered, right? Paralogisms made him um, spur out something that he shouldn't have done. It intrigued me. Here I am with a test. Then five minutes left of this one, and there's a, about thirty minutes of another part two. Which I think we've a longer bit. We've, 
we all go through similar things. When I told them that I had measured water not curving, like not, you know, creating the horizontal, that I took those measurements. They said I, my children should be taken away and doxed, doxed everybody that was in the video. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. That was four, four years ago. Yeah, ri ridiculous for saying that I believe, and I believe I've measured it to be true, that water doesn't curve. I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't care what they believe. I wouldn't dox them yeah. if they think water does curve. It's a strange group that we're dealing with. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, I mean, this is Sly Sparkane going oh. over and, and his problems uh, with the, uh, basically the statement that level is horizontal and how a water level works. Now, don't forget, Sly Sparkane does have a test. A bending water level test. So, I mean, he has a vested interest in this, and you can obviously tell that he's, that, you know, that's where the position he's coming from. Hardcore. Because I want to make sure that, that part's clear, because that is actually him showing that he's being dishonest about this test. Being dishonest about what? Three uh, posts with the water level going up to the top are A, B, and C from left to right. What's yep. to say that A and B and B and C? Um, that there's not an angle between those two. What I mean is, how do you know A and C are also on a horizontal? We know A and B would, and B and C would, but how do we know A to C is a, one long horizontal? A and C, like that, right? Yeah, Well, yeah. all you do is, you blank that off, and you make... A to C, your that would be a horizontal, right? The water level allows you to do that. You you just don't. I mean, like in a water level, it it's sort of the same as saying when you have this as your tool, your auto level, like you're establishing this here as a horizontal point, and this here is a horizontal point. But you don't really need to establish that this is a horizontal point in the middle. Whereas the water level acts differently. The water level doesn't really care what happens in the middle. It just transfers the level from one end to the other. Now, if you blank that off, then this becomes the, the total distance, doesn't it? Okay. I think I see what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. You will, it will become a bit more clear tonight because the, this is a like a showcase of the... Kozlowski curvature conundrum. So that's what we got. We have the Kozlowski curvature conundrum. Wow, that's old school. That's the uh, jump and the that. hump. Yeah. The idea that there's a hump and a drop. The curvature conundrum is that it has to drop, but Brandon was imagining that there was a rise in the middle. It's a perfect example for us to be going into um, what a proof is and how do you prove a straight line and is there a hump? Because he said he knew that from A to B was horizontal and from B to C was horizontal. How did we know that from A to C was horizontal? How do we know there wasn't an angle, he was saying, at B, between the two horizontals? He imagined Brandon actually asked the question, how do we know there isn't an angle between two horizontals? How do we know that? How does anyone know that there isn't an angle between a horizontal and a horizontal. Everybody knows sloping water flow. <laughs> and well, that all horizontals well, are parallel. So you can't have an angle between a horizontal and a horizontal. No. Nah. Very strange behavior, you know, at the time. 
carry on. It's only a few minutes. A useless left. test of 100 meters, no matter how many times you do it. That's why he said you can do it indefinitely. A use. No way. Useless test of every 100 meters. Slice by cane, say that. His water level test is 100 meters 16. That's what this bit up here is, I think. This is a like a showcase of the Kozlowski curvature conundrum. Come on, Sly. So that's what we got. We have a useless test of 100 meters, no matter how many times you do it. That's why he said you can do it indefinitely. A useless test of 100 meters where you're measuring only 50 meters of each side of it from the tangential point, Ooh. if on a sphere. And not once did he say they would measure it from the side because of the fact that he would actually have to look down. Now, unfortunately, given the short distance, the amount that he would have to look down is incredibly small. So, what? this is, the, it, and y'all caught that, right? He, he, he just said, oh. So, this is, the, it, and y'all caught that. You Distance, all caught that, look. The amount that he would have to look down. He, he would have to look down. He has, he's actually got a picture here of this guy, this camera. This one is looking down, but this one. He's looking up. Down and up, depending on which way you're facing on a horizontal. So this one, on this model here, he's got a horizontal pointing down and a horizontal pointing up. And here he's got a horizontal pointing up and a horizontal pointing down. And on this one, they're all the same horizontal all the way along. Looks like there might be a a way to to show whether one or the other possibly whether your horizontals point up or down and interesting though the way he says that look, look. listen to the way Measure he it runs from the side past it. because of the fact that he would actually have to look down now unfortunately given the short distance the amount that he would have to look down down where is incredibly small. That's up. So, this is, the, it, and y'all caught that, right? He, he he just said, "Oh, well, just get rid of the middle, and now 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 this is the line." Yeah, that's the horizontal. There was no comparison made between A and B and B and C versus A to C. Yeah. Like Brian uh, Brandon had asked. If you just cut rid, he actually did not answer the question. He one hundred percent avoided it by removing. B. So, anyway, I don't want to make this too much more long because it's pretty much uh, uh, I, I made all the points that I wanted to make. The distance is too short for uh, for him to be able to determine if there's any drop. Um, drop. His method of doing level in the middle is actually dishonest to exactly what it is that's attempting to be measured here. Uh, and the distances, like I said, are too short for the drop to even be noticeable because they would drop only be again. about the same thickness as the crosshair that's in his auto level. And if anybody has been following this at all, you've seen how he treats his auto level. So I, I, I wouldn't even care about that. I, I wouldn't even trust it anyway. So that's all I got, ladies and gents. I really appreciate. Oh, wait, no, let me drop this down here. Oh, yeah. These were the... Uh, these were the amounts of drop per uh, 100 meters. <laughs> that was fun doing that. <laughs> but uh, I appreciate Did he say I stuff. wouldn't trust the water level? No, he's saying he wouldn't trust Bev's uh, um, auto level because of the way he treats it. But Bev, were you out there trying to measure the drop? This, there is no drop of a water. I mean, I don't know what he's talking about. Like Buster says, we Thank definitely you. know how water flows. And if there's a drop, then the water will flow to equalize it out. I mean, that's. I'm looking but at But you were out there here. measuring. 
What, what is it? Less than a degree of change from the horizontal, and the water will start to flow? Something like that? Well, water will flow at a fraction of a millimeter, Any right? Yeah, I, I know it's a very small amount. Yeah. Any. <laughs> Any. Any. <You're> right. <laughs> Amount. Any change from the horizontal, you're right. Yeah. It's not the only reason water flows, but that will cause water to flow. You can't have vertical change and water not flow. And well, you're gonna have to have a hell of a like pressure pushing against it to keep it from flowing. Right. But that's not what we're talking about here. See this on the on the thing at the minute as well. Uh Slice Bar Kane has got the Ruhif numbers. He's got them all here. The the drop from horizontal from the original starting point. Each 100 metres um, in millimetres. Starting at 0.78 and then 3.1, 7.3. All quadratic function. They're all increasing. Uh, all the way up to 200 uh, millimeters that's a drop from horizontal of a water level across 1600 meters i'm I'm glad to have uh, b balls replayed this and slice bar canes brought it back around this is genius slice bar cane check it out the full set of the ruhif numbers thank you ruhif I knew this would come in handy. Drop from horizontal, ladies and gentlemen. These are the numbers of a water level drop from horizontal. Wrote down by the man himself and reposted by Earth is Life. Remember Bev's test. Thank you very much. There we go. Up and by. This is where it's at. Not lights in the sky. Have a nice big fat. You're a liar, um, or at least just a dishonest flat earther. Um, I'm not a flat earther. Sorry. And yeah, just make sure that uh, everybody's fully aware of that. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all down. Make sure everybody knows that Bev is a dishonest flat earther when he's not even a flat earther and it's slice bar Kane and b-ball obviously that have said that there is a drop of the water level from the horizontal established at one end a drop i'll get i'm gonna get a screenshot of this for you guys Remember best test. I get that. Oh, wait a minute. Let's get it. Earth is life in there as well. Copy. Okay. Right now. Next one. Part two. Pinpoint asteroids in orbit and hurl y'all down. This is half an hour, hour but it's probably going to be me anyway. How does the I, water level you, prove that there's no drop from horizontal? Because it's an even altitude. Right, the, the water levels it out itself. There's no drop. So if you take that as a fact, right, there's no drop, then you say the horizontal has to rise. So that's your so that's your your assumption is that uh that the water level creates a horizontal that is uh parallel to the surface of the earth, right? No, it's not an but assumption, it, right? It's just a fact that the water level does that. Right? To you it's a In fact. The, to you but, it's a but fact. But the numbers Right, to the numbers that they give us, the ballers, right, these are drop from horizontal, right? So these are the numbers of the water level dropping from horizontal. Okay. But, like I say, it doesn't drop because that's, what you call, drop. that's what you call flowing water, right? <laughs> so Shut up, what you have to do is... You have to then go and look at the other model, the hump model, right? But the hump occurs at double the distance. So you then have to pretend there's a cord 
right, from one end to the other. And the sagittar now, the hump bit, now becomes what was the drop. So if you have 400 meters, wow, he's started this pretty heavy, right? <laughs> wow, b-ball. Right, so I don't know if everybody can see the picture that he's got on the screen there. Another one. This is uh, this title. This video is uh, "Remember Bev's Test?" Question mark Part Two. Flurf versus Flurf. Brandon grills Bev. So I don't know which part this is. Whether it's after or before, or um, he's saying that my assertion is that a water level establishes a horizontal. Which, yeah, definitely. But I'm trying to explain to Brandon, I'm guessing, uh, exactly how it goes. Now, he uh, does have a picture on the screen. Yeah, let me see. Can I? That's too good, man. A curving water level. Can you see that there? He's got So he's got the horizontal line. This is the black line. And then the water level's dropping away from it. So he's, he is saying there is a difference from the horizontal. Now... Like I've always said, always, um, when you are um, doing differential leveling uh, and you're measuring elevation changes, you are measuring a vertical change from the horizontal. This tool, auto level, measures a, a change from the horizontal. So this distance here is a certain distance and then this distance here is greater so there is a drop the elevation of the land here is lower because there is a greater distance from the horizontal that's how you measure elevation changes of the land so what this picture here is saying is this is an elevation change a measured distance from the horizontal That's fantastic because there is no drop. There is no elevation change within a water level. Like there is no elevation change within this auto level. It establishes a horizontal. The water level also is a tool for establishing a horizontal. There is no drop. And obviously you can hear rumpus in there as well. So you've got Brandon, Rumpus, and I think I can hear Paige. So uh, apologies for any uh, swearing or anything that we're about to hear. This is obviously recorded from Brandon's. I, I think I did record it, but I don't think I wanted to put it out because I don't like causing drama between uh, Black Earthers. It, you know, it's it's awkward Carry of on. water level. Then there should be a 3.1 millimeter hump that would be measurable there, right? Within the numbers that they've given us. Have you measured that 3.1 millimeter the way, or the lack of the, the 3.1 millimeter in the center of a 400 uh, meter water level? And if, if so, Sorry. have you measured that? No. No, you Isn't haven't. You result? haven't measured it. You haven't measured that it, there isn't, or you haven't measured that there is. Wow. Have you measured a hump in a water level? No. Well, anybody, any reasons why we might have not measured a hump in a water level? Because it's not there. You use a level in order to measure a change from it that's how you change tell the elevation differences so it's only on the model are these uh, calculated numbers that these people have got thanks uh, this might be one of the uh, ideal things to for us to go over at some point Gonna, gonna go <laughs> this, the, the, right do you 
get the idea that there should be something there, mate. You're On agreeing models, that there yeah, is of course. something. Okay, right. Okay. So as long as you say that there is a chance that there is something there, right, we can measure the water level at that distance, can't we? We what? We can't? Right? We can measure the water level at that distance. Providing you've got a water level that's 400 meters long, yep. you can measure the level anywhere along that point from the beginning to the end. Sure. You can right. take your water level from point A, walk away from point A, all the way out to 400 meters, and you'll be yep. the same altitude above uh, uh, you know, the surface, above, uh, above the water, as you are at point A, right? It would just be the same altitude, yeah, an even yeah. altitude. Even altitude, all the way across. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you could use geometry to use that as two different points, like a, like you do with a straight line, to prove that two straight lines cannot share a common segment. Or you could choose to uh, prove that two lines are parallel. Got it. But I, I get the one straight line. So from A to B, the, the measure on the water level from... Uh water level a to b that's a straight line now how do you mm -hmm. confirm that that is parallel with the surface of the water it is the water level it's its own no yeah the water level is the water level no the like, water the, the level the of the, the water, water underneath the surface of the, the water level, it did the water level doesn't care about what's underneath it brandon I understand how the water level works, so it'll give you an even yeah. altitude out to 400 meters. So you're at point A, 400 meters away, you're mm -hmm. at point B. Let's say you're three feet above the ground with your water level. Yeah, and we've, and we've, also, got, um, we've also got steps at every 100 meters along the way. That's fine. So <clears throat> if you drew a straight line, an imaginary straight line from point A, three can, feet above the ground, point. to point B, 400 meters away, three feet above the ground, that would be a straight line. How do you confirm that that it, line is an even altitude all the, along the 400 meters above the surface of the water. You used... Who? Um, I don't understand what Brandon's talking about here. Now. Hey, hang on, Bev, hang on, Bev, hang on, Bev. Can I just say something? Yeah. Before we go on, that's got to be the most ridiculous question I have heard out of Brandon's mouth yet. Well, I mean, it it was... He has no understanding of water level. It does seem like that, right? But, I mean, the ballers are liking this, but obviously B-ball has posted this uh, it as though it, it, it means something. But, I mean, it just shows to me that Brandon hasn't got a clue about what a water level is or the tool. And we're only four minutes in. It's beginning to look. I mean, you can see why I wouldn't want to put this out. I'm I'm tr struggling to understand what Brandon's talking about at the minute. The water level is what we're doing, and he's saying, "How do you check that with the water level?" I remember listening to this and beating my head against the table when he was asking you that. Yeah, couldn't believe it. Yeah, I, I was having <laughs> serious doubts about Brendan Brandon at that point. Yeah. Well, I'm. Don't forget, I'm coming into a, a like a, a community trying to explain about a test that seems to me very simple, and the this is how I'm being met. I mean, is it any wonder people don't seem to understand or get what the test was or the principles involved in it? And I don't know. We, I'm going to try and explain it a bit better if if this is not really doing it, but. Oh, we'll go. Geometry to prove it. Okay, how do you do that? Can I, can I jump in? Hold no, 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 okay, no. Okay. How do you do no, that? I was going to help you. I was going to answer your question, but okay. Oh, okay. If you got the answer, sure. Well, it's not I'm saying I don't have the answer, but I hear, I, I kind of hear you guys talking past each other and you're not on the same frequency. So let me ask you this question real quick, Brandon. Why are you asking Bev the question you are? Because uh, he made the statement that uh, 
we could uh well i don't know i'm trying to get understand where he's okay. coming from that's if fair. if he that's has fair. proven that the somehow the shape of shape of the surface uh the sh surface of water is uh flat is a straight line i want to okay. know that and that's the part okay. i don't understand is how this experiment yeah. proves that it's not a shape what's that Said flat's not a shape. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I did. Brand, I don't know. I don't get what Brandon's talking about here. From that's if fair. if he that's has fair. proven that the somehow the shape of shape of the surface, uh, the sh surface of water is <clears throat> uh, flat is a straight line. I want to okay. know that, and that's the part okay. I don't understand, is how this experiment proves that. Okay, so this is the way I would answer it if I were... If... Right, well, if I'd have said it's not an experiment, and you have to uh, go with the basic concepts of what a water level is, and level is definitely horizontal. If, I, if you were asking me this question, what? I would, I would okay. say this. When you've got your water level, you you mark off on each of the uh, containers at the at the ends. <clears throat> like if you hold them in front of you and they level out, you mark that off. <laughs> then it doesn't matter what the terrain is. You go up and down, zigzag over rocks, under the blah blah blah, and you're uh, five hundred yards apart. That you you will know that those uh, two. Uh, ends are level because you marked off what level is with that amount of volume of water so that if you get to 500 right i don't know if i'm gonna have to come in here and save this guy but he's on about marking off the water levels at the beginning what? well he's trying he's completing a benchmark you no know, he's talking about marking it off on the water level on the tube with the amount of water it's got in it. I it's crazy. 100 yards away, and you say to yourself, I'm going to trick Bev right now. I'm going to raise up my end and throw off the level. He's going to see it. Yeah. I'm so not... that's how you. Go ahead. That's how you know they're level. I understand. You don't need anything else. I understand okay. that the two points are, are, are um, level with each other. I understand that. Okay. They're the same altitude. Okay. And connecting okay, them let me correct creates it's a straight not an line. altitude. It's it's elevation. Sorry, I'm just being pedantic. It's it's elevation. No, it not it's an air. altitude. The water level in the tube is isn't on uh, elevation. It's not on the ground. It's above the ground. Okay. All right. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. So okay, the, so, so then, they're at the okay. same altitude. They're three feet. We've got a straight line from A to B. How do I know that the surface of the water is also a straight line? Then that the, all along that imaginary line. Okay. Uh, at any at any points along that imaginary line is three feet above the surface of the water. That that's that's what I want. How do oh, I know what that? What water are you talking about now, Travis? Let Bev. Why don't you let Bev field this one? Because Bev's not asking the question that I think uh, Brandon is getting at. He there. That's what I said at what? the beginning. I feel like they're talking. Brandon's past asking. Each other. See what's going on here. He's asking Travis, and Travis says Brandon isn't asking the question. Listen, listen. Just being pedantic. It's, it's elevation. No, it is. Not it's an air. altitude. The water level in the tube is isn't on uh, elevation. It's not on the ground. It's above the ground. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> so okay, they're, so, so then, they're at the okay. same altitude. They're three feet. We've got a straight line from A to B. How do I know that the surface of the water is also a straight line? Then that the, all along that imaginary line, okay, uh, at any at any points along that imaginary line is three feet above the surface of the water. That that's that's what I want. How do but I know what that? What water are you talking about now, Travis? Let Bev. Why don't you let Bev field this one? Because Bev's not asking the question that I think uh, Brandon is getting at. He there. That's what I said at what? the beginning. Bev's not asking the question that he thinks Brandon's getting at. And Brandon's asking the question. I don't, I'm not too sure what's going Beginning, on. I feel like they're talking Brandon's asking the question. Okay, listen very carefully, Jeremy. 
they're going back and forth and no one's giving the answer that's going to clarify it. So I'm trying to help clarify it. Brandon, we're talking about the water level, but you're saying, how do we know the water is level? You're introducing a second body of water. Yeah. What are you talking about? We're measuring, we're, well, okay, here, we're using the water level above the surface of uh, a still water, right? Well, yes. I'm just using the water level as sea level. Let's call it zero sea level. <laughs> if, the, if calling it water level is confusing. <laughs> what? See, now, where, where's Brandon gone here now? We're using a water level as a water level. I'm, I don't know. Somebody put J trig in the uh, thing. Surface of the water. I'm not too sure. Uh, and you're measuring the altitude above the surface of that water, and that's three feet. That's what your water level is measuring. So you know A and B are three feet above sea level, we'll call it. And you know that if you draw a straight a line between those two, it is gonna be indeed be a straight line. How do you know along that whole 400 meters that it is three feet from that imaginary line to the surface of the water? Water? Wow. I, I don't think sea level, two sea yourself, level. Here, you two. Watch out. So, surface of the water. Wow, I don't know what's going on. If this is really hard, like he's put another water level in there, it's hard work to explain this. I think his sea level Thank in this mind, case. What to ask? How okay, can you listen, the water, do, water level do you guys understand the question? Sea? I do. Let me try. I, I understand what he's saying. He's saying, yeah. How do you measure from the water level to the surface of the canal? Am I correct? Yes, from the, the the line, how do you know that that line that you connect between the water level, so the end of the lines at A and B are each three feet above the water, how do you know that any point or every point along that line is also at three feet in altitude above the surface uh, of, the of, canal. of the canal? Right. You mark, you measure from the post you've put in and put the mark on to the surface of the canal. Why, why are you guys point? not letting Bev? <laughs> at what point? Whichever point you want. You only want one at each end and one in the middle, don't you? That's all you need. So now you've got three points. You've got A, B, and C. C you drive three stakes in. You put your water level on, you mark off where the water level is, and then measure down from that mark to the surface of the canal. So in that case, you'd have three points, say, along the 400 meters. Bear with me here. A, B, and C are those three points. They're all three feet above the surface of the water in the canal, above sea level. You well, know you've got those isn't three points level. that are three feet in altitude. How do you know in between points A and B and in between points B and C along that imaginary line that connects those, every point along those lines is also three feet above the uh, above sea level? We've got, we've got um, five wow. marking points, right? Because there's one. Just wow. This is amazing, isn't it? I never heard anything like it. Above the canal, how do you know? Wow. Yeah, I mean, I, I want to know where I was for this because this is hilarious. This is, I'm well, getting this a kick Brandon. out of this one. I know, right? This is Brandon that took over from Ranty. I mean, how reliable is this? I mean, who's who was around for this time? <laughs> like I said, I heard this and I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I, I couldn't coming from Brandon. No, it was it was. It was bad. It was really bad. Well, he's got Potato Mike Central on the on the thing there. That's probably a hint. Yeah, about yeah. How long ago this was? Yeah, and he's uh, look. Chris Berry's in here. That says level is curved. Duh. That's handy, isn't it? <laughs> Under why Chris decided today to come in. 
Maybe because we put out this thing about going over this thing with Brandon. You said level is curved? Yeah, in the chat. On the screen level, right there. Level is curved. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Chris. I this thought he might, was a level either. Might be a team of people, this, right? It might be a long time play with people just obfuscating arguments, taking people round and round and round in circles. How could Brandon not see the contradiction in the question he was asking? Oh. This water, this water level. Not level with this water level. How could he ask that question? I don't know. It might be people that are just obfuscating, right? Or he might not be able to see it. I don't know. I mean, the there, there, there are people that don't know whether a water level is a tool for establishing a horizontal or not. I guess that's possible. It, I guess that explains it. <laughs> Yeah, you'd have to you'd have to think that a water level is a different than an auto level. Like th they both do different things. One of them establishes a horizontal, and the other one establishes a level. But level is level. Like you've got a law of identity problem if level has two different meanings, which it definitely hasn't. Sounds like a dilithism sort of uh, problem. Maybe a bit of definition shift paralogisms. Who knows? But there's something weird going on. Nice for B-Ball to bring this back in. Shout out, B-Ball. My vocabulary is never going to be the same after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes a while for us to get into it in the spirit of it. Carry on. 400 meters makes five marks so if you're having a b c well you've got five points so the ones in the middle of each of them are at the same level right yeah so you've got five points yeah. that are at three feet now say yeah 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 but brandon so do how you do you know on yours what? hold on uh, how do you know on how yours you know? so you've got your five points how do you know yep uh any segment between say a and b b and c c and d etc Anywhere yeah. along those imaginary lines is also every point along those imaginary lines are three feet uh, in altitude as well. Because you do geometry and you find a way to prove that two straight lines are sharing the same common segment, right? The same straight line. Yeah. Like, because that's the question, right? Yeah. You're asking us, is it curved? Yeah. And uh, or is it straight? No, I'm and asking you. I'm, how... I'm telling you, yeah. yes. In geometry, there is a way to prove it is a straight line. Yes. Okay. So in in reality, if you're doing this test, yep. how is it that you are going to say the segments from A to B and B to C, or even from D to E? How are you going to uh, prove that those segments are all sharing the same uh, plane, that they're all parallel with each other? Because it's a straight line test, and there will be the no rule of geometry in the middle. No, no, no. Right? Uh, it's not. It, we, okay. We'll be able to prove it's not curved by showing it is straight. I mean, but how, that, your test that doesn't Brandon... prove that it's straight all the way from A to E. That's the issue. Yeah, That's what I'm asking you. Yes, well, it if it does, it then does. you haven't explained to me yet how how you're no, accomplishing you, that. Yeah, you've. I've been on this show a couple of times, and you've done the same thing every time. And I've never I, gotten a good answer. No, because you don't let me go through it from the beginning. I've let you go through it from the beginning Jeez. twice, but you should, should be able to answer this question pretty easily because this is the key question into determining mm -hmm. what the, the shape of the earth its is. Own... Wow. Seems a bit combative, right? Maybe there are a few people that are a bit combative when we talk about water levels. Brandon definitely seems like it. 
talking about straight lines and water levels. Level. I, I, I know. Cool. I agree. Water finds its own level, guys. No one needs to tell me again that water finds its own level. I fucking understand a hundred percent that water finds its own level, and I believe that the surface of water is horizontal. I'm trying to understand under how this test conclusively proves that. Okay, let's geometry. <laughs> Just practical geometry, Brandon. Geometry is not an answer. It's not a practical yes, answer. It is geometry. Then tell me is where how we get geometry our proofs proves from. it. Tell me how because geometry that's does what it. Geometry does. Explain to in me how geometry does please. it. It's, uh, you guys are still not on the same frequency. Can Brandon, I try? Brandon, you don't understand what a proof is. I do understand what a proof is, and you haven't given me a proof yet. You you just prove that the straight line is a shared segment, and then you prove that the straight line continues as a straight line and how do you do that not a curved line with the rules of geometry what rules the axioms and the postulates hold on well, please let the, me answer this question the axioms please. and the postulates explain it's, it to me it should be simple it's a logic listen it's a logical inference Bev, bring up the okay bring up the bit of paper that has all the um no this you you know how hard it is to go through this page uh, uh, especially yeah, with an unwilling participant. Okay. Oh, I'm, unwilling participant yeah. Yeah. I'm willing to have I think this is a very simple this. question to answer if you know the answer. Okay. Just get in, to the punchline. Get to the geometry, fucking punchline for me and show me. Two straight a... lines can't share the same segment. So if you've got two lines that are the same height, same elevation above the ground, they are the same straight line they're not two different lines or you know a curving line this is that's this is why we're telling everybody to go back to the very beginning of geometry learn what a point is learn what a line is only if all the line segments that you're talking about are parallel to the to the uh bottom okay, line I please try and you haven't please proved that try. the bottom is a sure, line okay. You haven't proved that the Can bottom's I... a line. That's what we're trying to bottom prove. Bottom of what, Brandon? Sorry? The bottom of what? Sea yeah, level. Sea level. Straight line we've made. No, we're still the measuring yeah. above. Yeah. With... Wow, shit show. I forgot how bad these things were. Uh, I'm not really getting much chance to say anything. This is. Bad. Your right. water level. Yeah, it was very chaotic. Yeah, this is what it was like mostly all of the time. Whenever you go over there to try and explain anything, I think, like I said, I've been over there twice, and it 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 was pretty much like this all the time. Level. Can we please try? Please. I I am trying to get to a point I've been trying to get to for months. Uh I'm trying to help. I'm trying to help right now with a thought that I have in my mind. Can I have a conversation with Brandon, please? Okay. Ooh. Let's say you drive a stake into the ground and you've got it <laughs> marked off three feet high. Okay. So you, you've got a five foot stake. You drive two feet into the ground. You got three feet remaining. Now you walk a hundred yards. You do the same thing. How do you know those two things are level? You know, they're both three feet off the uh, ground, but there could have been a deviation in the ground between you and them you could be lower or higher you don't know because of the distance okay do you follow that so far both your stakes are three feet high off the ground but one of them is lower in elevation and you don't know it yet one you of your me? stakes is lower in elevation so you've got two stakes a and b uh yep. one of you've marked what you think is the same height above the no it's a no it's a five it's listen it's a five foot stake okay you drive it you drive it two feet down you only got three feet left it's just straight up right gotcha okay gotcha okay now you've now you've got a graded field you've graded the field as as flat as you can get it because you're going to build a warehouse okay and now you're marking off the corners of your foundation so you got one foundation point right you got one point you walk 100 yards away and you want to make sure that you have leveled your grade so you drive that stake down and it's three feet high but you know what 
you didn't know that the ground topography dropped. But to you, you didn't know. So how are you going to check it? You get a water level. You put a water level at point A, and you match it at the three-foot line. And then, you, and then you've got the other end of the water level 100 yards away. And lo and behold, it's not higher or lower than that point. Guess what you know now? It's a straight line. You don't have to do anything in the middle. Nothing. It's always a straight line between two ends of a water level, Travis. Yes. That's not okay, the question. This whole, okay, please yeah, listen. Is. Okay, please, okay, is please question, listen. That okay, isn't please the listen. question, Bev. If okay, it's a please, straight line, I'm why, not done yet. Please. Where's the curve? Please, please, I'm not done yet. No, but... Okay, listen, please listen. Hold on. Okay, now I'm going to change the result. Now point B is higher. So if you then put the put the water level at point B, it's not going to be level at point A. You now know that there's a higher elevation at point B. Now you've got a slope. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so here, Travis, let, let me try to... Because it's clear to me you don't understand what I'm asking, okay. and maybe other people don't okay. as well. All right, that's fine. All right, okay. so in, in your um, little scenario there, we've got stakes a and b pound them two feet into the ground and i'm going to assume that the the ground from a to b is all the same uh altitude right so we'll call it zero it's sea level well, between a and b if it's the ground brandon sorry the, if oh it's, it's talking elevation. about the ground yeah. that's elevation thank you right? thank you yeah so it's all and the same elevation you don't assume the elevation of anything you have to measure it all right, here, let me finish my scenario here. So we've got stakes A and B, same elevation between the two. And the reason we know that is because uh, the ground is uh, standing water at sea level, okay? So, so we know that for sure, that it's the same elevation between A and B. We've got our stakes sticking three feet off the ground. We take our water level, we put it at the top of stake A, put it at the top of stake B, mark two two notches we know those notches are at the same altitude above sea level three feet now if we connected a a line let's say we had some magical zero mass string and we strung it from uh notch a to notch b the question is would every point along that line also be three feet in altitude above the surface of the water. That Absolutely. is the question. Straight line. The, the, we know that the, 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 the no mass left. string that we strung is a straight line. We know that it's perfectly straight. Would the surface of the water be a straight line? In order for it to be the same altitude, our, our no mass string, the surface of that water would have to be uh, a flat plane, right? A straight line. Is, is the water, right, at a uh, hydrostatic? Is it a, a like freestanding, just not, no, nothing acting upon it? It's like the clearest day in all of history. There's not even like a, a butterfly farting anywhere. It's so it's flat. Horizontal. It's amazingly. It's horizontal, it's horizontal yeah. in my opinion, too. But that's what I'm asking. How does that test prove that it's horizontal? But by you use ge geometry and proofs to prove that it is a shared straight line segment. How do you prove that it's a shared line segment? That by doing what and devising a method using water levels to show that, or you could choose to show a method um, to show the the absurdity of. Um, what the ball model would have to show, wouldn't you? You could use that reducto ad absurdum. Okay. Right, to show. Brandon, and this Brandon, is your this is missing. your four hundred. This is your five stake method that you're alluding to. Is that correct? Yes. But that's one of them. Yeah. Okay. Do you th now? How does that five stake method prove that each of those segments is parallel and that every point? Uh, you know, along that imaginary line that connects each of those are the same altitude above the uh, surface. Right. This is where you have to understand what a proof is. 
And, hey, and babe, oh, I just wanted to help real quick, oh. if I can. Yeah, go on. What is it you think I don't yeah, understand but, about a proof? Well, I'm just trying to help out here real quick. Um, like the 100 meter water level, if you talk, took an auto level in between and looked 50 meters each direction, you could check that horizontal. In, you can choose to do that or not. The because, horizontal of the sec each segment? Oh, yeah. I missed that guy. Yeah. But yeah. that would, okay, I don't, I'm not sure that that would do it because let's say I put my auto level in the metal, middle of a segment, segment A to B. It's 100 meters between the. Yeah, you can oh, go now, to the end, too. I make it level, right? right I make it level, right? Hold on. I make it level. I, I fire oh. off my uh, my auto level. Bam. It points to the same Bam. elevation, mm -hmm. the same distance below point. on each one, on each on each stake. What what yeah, does that tell in, me? You could go in between. Three you could go planer. before. That means, right? Mm -hmm. Three code planer points, yep. Yeah. You can so look to establish. Let me plan. say the problem and let me clarify it too. Okay, the problem is, is what they're saying. Okay, as frustrating as it is, the math lines up <laughs> identical to the uh, to the sphere Everybody. if you're angling the uh, each no. point. Okay, no, and that is I, very frustrating. I, I, but here's the here's the here's no, the solution. Brian, Wait, Brian, Brian, I know what you're let saying. me give Brian, the fucking no. solution. Angling, Brian's coming in with. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pat. Yeah. It's just it reminds me of how much fun it was over there. Yeah, it's just, you, I'm trying to explain <laughs> a water level to uh, uncooperative Brandon. And everybody, it's like that uh, scene on airplane, isn't it? Let me have a go at him, Al. <laughs> let me explain it. And Brian's not helping. Hang on. We know what you're doing. you're doing. You're looking down. No, the you water don't. Level. No, you don't. Because you're, you're making down. me look like an asshole unless you let me tell the solution. Okay. The solution is there's a solution is is asshole. if you're going different distances with each shot, then it would We're you'd not. get a different fucking result. <laughs> so about, it's got so level. if right. we go one hundred meters at a time 15, over a mile, 50 meters. boy, it's killing y'all to let me fucking say my stance, right? Yeah, can you let Brian you get let it out of his mouth? Stance, I mean, what the fuck, man? Let him get it fucking out. Here's the thing, okay? So here's how you judge that. You could do multiple different shots, which would be different angles by their math. So if you went 100 meters exactly at a time and, and come up with a mile, they could use angles against you and say that you're shooting around a curve. But if you went 100 meters one shot, then uh, 150 meters a second shot, then 50 meters a shot after that, then if they didn't line up, they would line up different on a spear, okay? That's the only way to distinguish is if you use different Why? distances which they do in surveying they don't use the same distance shots Why so to me planar surveying proves uh flat water that's I don't my point why you would come and defend the globe that does not make any sense to me whatsoever i'm not defending the globe i'm telling you how to distinguish you didn't hear nothing i just said i can't you interrupt didn't listen. you i can't interrupt you because you interrupted me okay what i was trying to you said i'm defending the fucking globe dude <laughs> Hey, apparently, you didn't hear me. No wonder you won't ever come talk to us. Yeah. Why did you say that, Cleary? He wasn't defending the globe. He was describing the situation. The I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Why did you say that? Uh, if His you first to what words were the globe. Yeah. So what? That doesn't what he mean said. he's defending the globe? He's oh. saying that the measurements are going to be equal with the globe math. And the, I'm math. Just trying. the math. Yeah. He's not saying oh. that it's the, oh, the Earth dear. is a fucking globe. Why would you say no, he's they, defending the globe? The math geometry curves. But I don't get exactly. that. Exactly. That's what we're trying to prove, that it doesn't. Anyway, but why y'all so triggered? What I was saying is you could yeah, take a why are level. You and I'm triggered because you said I'm defending the fucking globe, dickhead. <laughs> Damn, <dude. laughs> oh my god. All right, all right guys. Down. Let's all settle down, myself included. Let's all right. Wow, this is amazing, B ball. Well done. <laughs> wow. This goes to show. I mean, this is talking about um, Bev's test, is it? Remember Bev's <laughs> test? I mean, what the hell's going on about Bev's test here? More horizontal. Nothing. More Bre Brian just barging in like a madman and Brandon going, why don't y'all let Brian talk? <laughs> <laughs> 
And then I think that was me being the voice of reason, which yeah. is crazy. <laughs> now that is crazy. <laughs> Come on, guys. Calm down. I mean, you know, it's only water level. Yeah. It's like we're just trying to talk about water level in a test to prove a straight line. What's so hard about it? What do people don't think it is? I mean, like, you'd have thought Brandon... He says he knows a water level establishes a horizontal. But why can he not see how a geometric test about a straight line would work? If somebody told him it's only horizontal at a point. Well, what I'm doing is I'm trying to hold back at this point because I'm still formulating the method and I'm, I'm hoping to inspire other people to see whether they can come up with a test to do with a straight line and how they do it and to see whether anybody else has is, is got it. And it doesn't seem like anything's working. I See, I know better than to tell everybody um, things because then they just come up with an argument against it. You're much better off trying to get other people to imagine a test for themselves. How they would hey. prove a curve or a straight line it doesn't really matter. I think the only question you would ever have about a water level is anything interfering with its ability to function properly. Other than that, you know what the results of the water level are going to give you. Yeah, the, the, the logical conclusion you'd have to come to is, is there a drop at either end? Well, there can't be. Water would flow. So yeah. then... If you've got two ends, I mean, is there a hump in the middle? That's the that's the only test you need to do, is to make sure there isn't a hump in the middle. You just need to devise a test or some way to check whether the water level in the centre of a water level is on the same level at the two ends. I mean, it's ridiculous to say it. It is. It, that's the only test you need to do. Make sure that the middle is on the same line as the from the two ends. I mean, I don't. I'm struggling to understand why this has been a you know a, a problem for everyone. I mean, we we've been like we have been out and done this test practically. It doesn't cost much, and it's very simple to do. But you have to have the geometric understanding of what this test is and how it works. Otherwise. You you left in a place like this where you're talking about it. Brandon never let me put um you know have it a screen up go on the whiteboard or or do anything because I don't know. It seems like he was fighting against you for sure. It does sound like it, doesn't it? Absolutely, to me it did. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good idea. That's ridiculous. Fifty meters to the center of the one hundred meter water level. Look front side, back side. I just note that in the chat uh, we've got some of the uh, globe Earth scientists that say that they've told me how to do it. Well, it's already been done. Didn't need any help from you, Blow. Actually, thank you very much, though. Oh, okay. move, move to the end of the water level. Look back. And look forward again. You're connecting all those line segments by doing that, and you have one straight horizontal line. So you're going to do it Sorry, optically? Is that right, Clear? You're going to optically look what down? What do you define as optics? Would you say that surveyors are accurate in their techniques when they're doing differential leveling? Now you're going to answer my question with a question? I'm, I'm answering. I'm answering you. It is accurate because surveyors use this tool to use in differential leveling to determine elevation changes. Even though you actually physically have to look with your eye, it's not like long range photography over the ocean. Okay, it's not the same thing. Yeah, but it is optical. Well, you're you're still making limits. an optical yeah, measurement. I ask the question. When you use it within its limits, it's very, very accurate. Okay. Thank you. Is, so 400 meters is within the limits? That's what we're saying? You're not You're not looking um, 400 meters. No. You're looking 50. That's a water level 400 meters, isn't it? Can I ask a question? So what are we looking at 50 meter? Are we looking at one segment? Is that what you're talking about? All right, all right, hang on real quick. I, I, maybe you don't get it. We got four football fields to go. We uh -huh. go out of the 50 yard line, 50 yard line. We look back, okay? And we then we look forward. 
all right? And then we go to the end of that first football field, and we look back, and we look forward. Okay, then we go to the next 50-yard line on the second football field, and we look back, and we look forward, right? All the way down, 50% overlap. 50% overlap. So you're looking past the ones that are the post that's behind you and the post in front of you to the one beyond exactly. it? Is that what you're doing? Yes. Okay, yes, so brother. you're leapfrogging yes, when that's you're looking back. Doing. Yep. Yes. That's, that's what exactly what doing. I was saying, dude. Use different distances. That's right, exactly now, what I was trying to yeah, say, yeah, man. Right. Yeah, but what we're doing is we're going to substitute that looking for an actual water level, like a real physical water level, an actual thing, right, with the water that evens out at every point. Now, you, uh, every 100 meters. Okay. Wait, wait you're going to... So you're not going to do what you, Cleary described, Ben? No. We've, we've already checked that 100 meter water level mm -hmm. is level. We've already yeah. done that. That's been done ages uh, ago. You can do been done with the auto level. check the results against each other. Wait. Okay. Which they'll all be the same anyway. 100 Everyone meters, there's not very the much right. difference between the two models, right? It's level. I believe you that it's level. Totally. Yep. Uh, okay. So how did you how did you determine that, that 100 meters was level? Real quick. We got a water level, uh -huh. and we put an auto level in the middle of it, right, and looked at either end. Then we moved the auto level to one end, and we looked at both ends again. And then we moved it. 50 meters past the end and then we looked at both of the ends again through the scope okay. right is that it's enough <laughs> i don't um i don't know because it, it was enough it was enough for me to prove that he said he didn't know he just explained a test to show and he doesn't even know how that shows its level Anybody wants to come and have a talk about any of these tests that we've done about proving that a water level is level, horizontal, with an auto level, a horizontal. I, I, I'm, I'm struggling as to why we had to do this with Brandon anyway in the first place. But I mean, it looks like it's still needed to be done, right? This going over why a water level is a hot tool that establishes a horizontal. Amazing. Amazing. We'll go we'll go over it again, obviously. That water to. level was level, but I already knew it was level anyway. You keep extending the line mm. and rechecking on what you've that done. That was my already. point, man. If you use different distances then you on right. if it was a spear and you use different distances you would get uh, varying uh, results you'd get varying you, results but you, you don't you, in real life you don't get matter. varying results yeah, yeah. Do you that's want? my whole point it doesn't matter ever nobody if you're doing differential leveling and you're right. just concerned with the elevation you do not matter about the distance you take right Imagine. that's my point that's the yeah. only way to distinguish uh to do, doing it mathematically that's what i was trying to tell brandon is doing different distances you'd get different results on a globe but in reality we don't get but we're different not on distances yeah, yeah. that's what so, i was right, saying Brian. Actually, i agree we're not on on globe, so why talk about yeah. i don't think these globe. guys are trying to falsify one or the other models uh brian i think we have different goals and that's why uh I get frustrated, um, but that, that's okay. Why? We're Why all on the same Brandon? team for hey, Brandon. Sake. Let's wrap this up. I do have a question for Bev. Bev, okay. are you like attempting in too. any way to falsify one or the other model and prove or disprove the shape of the Earth, the shape oh, of the surface okay. of the Earth? I am here personally because somebody challenged me right to to prove something that i already knew that it was the truth right so what i'm doing here is proving to myself that level is horizontal now over the two years i've been doing this a lot of people have gotten butt hurt a lot of people have called me a flat earther They've, they've even gone as far as to say 
because I say that level is horizontal, then I am a flat earther, right? The very person that called me a child abuser is the same person that says, if you think level is horizontal, then you are a flat earther, right? So I'm doing this for everyone that gets called to be a flat earther, right? But I'm doing it for myself, just proving Thank you, that okay. level is horizontal. That's it. I agree Did with Bev. Okay, I'd like to give final thoughts. Hold on a minute. Will, <laughs> let me try it a different way. Will your test prove what the, the shape of the surface of the earth is? Right. Proof is a personal thing. You have to go through a process to earn your own proof. I cannot give it to you, obviously, because you don't seem to understand Are geometrical the, the proofs, geometry. you know no shut the fuck up bev with Ooh, this you don't seem what? to understand and these sly little fucking insults you keep it's throwing not in. In, no you, it's are not. you trying Trust to trigger me, Brandon. me no Brandon. no a, a lot of people do get triggered by me though let me give my final thoughts real quick well, man hold, to cool hold things hold on, down. No. one more it's thing not even time for you didn't answer either of my questions are you trying to prove the shape of the surface of the earth uh, will your test prove? It sounded like no and no. It's like I am doing it to prove to myself that level is horizontal. And if level is to horizontal, me, the yes. earth is fucking flat, Bev. Okay, then. Brilliant. So you are you, doing you it to, to prove your own the shape of the There's surface of the earth. Though. Well done, Brandon. Okay, thank you. So that is a yes, then. You will prove you will the shape of the surface of the earth. to measure elevation, right, which disproves flatness oh for also. fuck's sake all right i'm done go ahead guys pinpoint asteroids in orbit then hurl wow sounded like a prosecutor treating you as a hostile witness yeah and <laughs> the very fact that you can prove that levels is horizontal you can measure elevation changes measuring an elevation change proves it's not flat what's up with that it's upsetting to people just reality. Yeah, you could tell Brandon's affection towards you was really waning there. Yeah, well, thanks, people, for bringing that one back out. That's, uh, that's good. I'm impressed. So, yeah, thanks, Asking, as well, for letting us go over that. And look, we've got Blue. Is Blue not on there? Uh... Is he not live streaming tonight? Or is he trying to drum up some business for his live stream? Is that what's going on, Blue? Sorry, I'm... He's invite he's inviting me to his house now. Wants to see me. His house. Or is YouTube his Discord? Is he live streaming? He's inviting no, no. you to his Discord stream because he wants to have a uh -oh. chat with you. Maybe Maybe so, mate. I thought it was inviting me to his house. Like a idle threat. But maybe he's let me in his uh, Discord again. Yeah, yeah. What about it, Blue? Which is it? Just, you want me to come to your house, Blue, or to your Discord? Because I'm confused. Just do your chat troll thing and, and let us know in the YouTube chat. Yeah. He said he's, everybody's told us how to do me test as well, which the one that's already been done. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a bit late. But yeah, we don't cite water levels as that's that was a joke that we did. We made up the dark shark. It's not actually a thing. Water levels don't need sighting. They work without a sight line. That's one of the major uh, selling points of a water level. Um, which actually is uh, the tool I choose to use. Um, to try and get across a geometric uh, logical point, the drop and the hump, it it shows a clear paradox. I call it the horizontal paradox. It's going to be a feature length video of the moving Cavendish. That's nice. That'll be good. I hope you get some views, Blue. Where are they making him move them? He's going it live. Is, it, well, is he know. moving them back to his uh, 
his shit? Don't know. I don't know. Where, where... Moving Cavendish. Moving Blues Balls about the university. Did he just put it on, like, we've got some casters or some wheels and just, like, wheel it around a bit? No, I have no idea how you move a boomer's balls from the University of Tennessee to wherever they're moving them. Yeah, so, I mean... I, I, I'm up for Brandon. If Brandon wants to come back and have a chat about uh, the water level, to try and uh, explain it. No doubt there's be some more people. I can go over the test. I mean, it is uh, Euclid tomorrow, so maybe might be able to work out some way of having a proof of a shared straight line segment and showing people how that works. Well, it looks like Blue is that. Are you inviting him to the Discord server to do a a face cam sort of thing, or I think he might be. He wants to do a face to face debate over Discord, Rakia. A bit like uh, Dave did earlier. You want to do that? I mean, that's that's. Brings debates to a new level. I love uh, seeing people when I'm uh, talking to them. I bet you'd be all right with that, Rakia, right? But it'd be the best way if you you and Blue, eye to eye, I mean, having a conversation, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Well, it'd have to be on Thursday. I'll take showers on Wednesday. Right. What, Lacey? Before the I massage goes going... You took a shower early. <laughs> <laughs> you take a shower on Wednesday before I work on me, right? You're on Discord, Lacey. Anything you want to say? Hey. Hey. What hey. shape's the earth? Yeah. I haven't figured it out yet. Is water horizontal? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think Blue does want to see you, but I mean, you got. That's what he thought. Well, Blue, weren't you meant to be going there on the 23rd? Are you still not going there on the 23rd? Has that been cancelled? You know, how far off is that? I mean, it's quite a few days off. I did hear Ricky was still going to be there, Blue. So, I mean, I think you called it off. I think that would have been you calling it off as well, Blue. It's no good. It's no good acting all like come and meet me then, but then going. Ooh, Rakia said he's gonna come and meet me. I best uh, let's call the police. Call the campus police. Sorry, not the real police. Just the campus police. But you never know how good they are. I'm. I'm guessing Blue isn't live streaming tonight. Thanks for being here anyway, Blue. Forty, fifty people watching, Blue. That's good numbers, isn't it? Similar. Second day. First day was good. Second day, hey, you got rid of Rumpus. Black Sabbath. Is that maybe Bob? So, Wednesday, hump day. It's been a, a, quite a good day. I mean, I'm not too sure about uh, parallelisms. I don't know whether people are purposely misunderstanding it or because they've built up a faulty logic framework that doesn't allow them to see the the simple logic argument that is. And it's a bit hard to tell who's who 
and what's what without any discussion and any conversation going on. As you see, you heard in that conversation, those old discussions over at Brandon's are pretty much the same as uh, the discussions in other channels. There's uh, a lot of uh, backwards and forwards. And when more than two or three people get involved in a conversation, uh, the, it can easily get changed and misled and moved from one bit to the other, obfuscated. And that's what happens. Uh, so a lot of the paralogisms and the sophistry can go unnoted. You, it becomes really hard to tell whether uh, people are purposely lying or just they've got faulty logic or they're purposely having faulty logic to confuse other people into also picking that um, thing up. And also the fact that arguments um, that are based on faulty logic, there's not really any point in, in coming up with a counter argument to faulty logic. <clears throat> What's Blue talking about? Crazy. So, Blue, can I just confirm that you are going to be there for the uh, thing at the 20-something, the 23rd, was it, of April? You did invite, um, who was it that you invited? Mike. You invited Mike to go to your uh, test. I, uh, seems like we've got some people in there in the chat again. Um, Blue, if you ever want to come and talk about any of this stuff, you want to talk about the tests or want to talk about, uh, any of this, <laughs> anything at all. I'd like to, um, try and sort out whether these, uh, are paralogisms or whether they're uh, just sophists it, it, because there is a difference and that difference is a, a purposeful deceit or whether you're just making shit up because you, you like to think that you're being mistreated or something I don't know but the uh the misunderstandings can only be sorted out with people talking about things. No, you don't really sort out misunderstandings through YouTube comment sections. Strange, strange times that we're going through at the minute. Strange arguments, strange understandings, mainly about straight lines. That's amazing. He wanted to know in the canal with locks in it, level water, and a water level a few feet above, and he wanted to know an like, <laughs> I just can't even say it. You think that there's a difference between the water in a canal and the water level? Seriously, Brandon. <laughs> there's a lot of crazy stuff going on lately. Well, this was before. Yeah, it does give us chance to go over the test, right? I mean, seeing as we are coming up to test season, Rumpus is going to be doing his test. He's looking for the drop. Obviously, that's different than a straight line. 
test. There's all sorts of different ways to do these tests that can be done quite simply. I mean, the geometric ones are the ones that you can work through, but <coughs> the logic uh, tests, <coughs> you don't need any uh, equipment for that. It's just the mental capacity of trying to uh, work these logic things out. That's where we could talk about things and work through them with people. We we can here, and I offer anybody else to come into the Discord server. We've got a, a definitely got a logical proof to take you from first principles in twelve steps uh, to explain logically why. Uh, level is horizontal and then from that point you can work a way out how to prove it or not disprove it or do whatever i mean that's up to you proof is uh, gainable by the person the individual nobody can hand it to you Blue, can you please stop the hate? We're not. It should keep it into the argument, not the people and the pe uh, the personal. There's no need for you to come in and and start telling people. I mean, I, I don't know. I'd uh, lay it low as well, Blue. I mean, I. <laughs> One, how bad is that a mistake, Ricky? If you were playing poker with anybody, would you want them to tell you that they they don't like you? <laughs> it puts you at a massive advantage, right? I think so. Anyway, Blue, I don't. I'm Ricky. I don't think he minds whether he, he you like him or not. Irrelevant to the argument. So. Thanks for letting us know, Blue. I wouldn't say you were triggered into writing that. But I guess I would. It's a little bit bitchy to write stuff like that, Blue. The new globe earth argument, I'm guessing. Globe science. So, a successful day today. What did I call it? Let's go, Brandon. We eventually got there. Bit of a strange bit to talk about the angle first. A bit of a sextant chat. But I'm guessing that's another argument that we uh, like to go over. Right, well, thank you very much. Anybody, we're going to sign out with Bruster. Anybody want a final word or anything before we go? I'll queue up a Buster song. Can I put in a Buster request? Always open for the request, anything that we've got. Wisdom in all honesty. You like that one? Please. Yes. Okay, okay, that's it. It's done. I, I have someone that wants to sign out. Good night, Blue. There you go. Good night, Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Good night, night Jim Blue. Bob. <laughs> Good night, John Boy. Good night, Ellie Mae. I don't, waiting, I'm waiting for a word from Blue to see whether we can sign out. Blue, I, I'll, I'll say it. Blue says hi. Goodbye and good night. Sign out um, with a Buster song. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will be back tomorrow. It is Euclid night. So I will have a go at um, trying to go over this uh, shared straight line principle test to show that. And we do have a message from Blue. I uh, will read it just before blue. 
He says, you guys are upset, question mark. I'm just one old man, question mark. Uh, why do I threaten you so much, question mark, question mark. Seems a bit weak to me. I'm not threatened at all, Blue. Thank you very much. And uh, good night. See you tomorrow. World's famous buster. Wisdom. It is probably the single most important mathematical idea of all. The notion of proof by circle and line or ruler and compass construction means that geometry can be known about in a way that is different from knowing about physical things and so makes geometry epistemically differentiated. Furthermore, starting from circles and lines alone and constructing a relationship using circles and lines alone makes the conclusions certain in a way that nothing else was at the time. And geometric reasoning, the argument and the conclusions were made supremely clear and evident to the senses. Indeed, the concept of proof, a mechanism that gave a warrant for claiming geometry to be perfectly and absolutely true, made geometry the very paradigm of what we mean true and certain knowledge to be. In effect, in our understanding of nature, true means true like geometry is true. true. Perfect. 